What is going on, yo, and welcome back to the stream, welcome back to Offered Outlaws, and we have a lot to talk about today, because the developers actually very recently shared, across the course of this past weekend, they shared a screenshot from something that I don't think anybody expected, and I'm going to be showing it to you guys very, very, very soon, I'm sure you guys saw a little bit of a brief glimpse of it in the, uh, in the thumbnail, but it leads to a lot of, basically it just leads to a lot of new questions around, are we looking at at a new game? Are we looking at an update to Offered Outlaws? Are we looking at both? Are we looking at something from the new developers that they haven't, or sorry, from the old developers, but something new that they haven't done before? I'm not even sure, but we're going to go ahead and figure out all of that stuff together with you guys right here on the stream today. And of course, thank you all so much for saying hi. I'm going to be saying hi to you guys out there in the chat as we go along. We've got our coffee today. We've got a bunch of it actually. So got us, uh, got us all the stream fuel we need. We got Millie Grind LLC out there in the chat. We got always high six, oh, power stroke, Waylon 11, more gamer at RC. Wesley Albertson and uh, Wisco Kid and Shadow Assassin. And let's see, Dermas Kiana and Cash Owens. Bear Bro Tusco, what's going on, dude? And let's see, second gen looking great. I really appreciate it, Alex. We also got Exploring with RH. Mason and Alex and Unseekable. And uh, let's see, Amanda C. We got Jesse Smokefish and Petty43. And let's see, Sherry and Mark and Bryston. And, and uh, let's see, Country Boy with BMX JT and Laura Isaacs and Jessica and Tyler T and Risky Farmer 7. And uh, let's see, Kristen, what's going on, bud? ATV Fishing Scotch. And let's see. Um, people say coffee isn't good for people. Why? Well, you know how much caffeine is in here. It's a lot. <laughs> um, but no, for real though, dude, good morning. What's good? Um, what's good? What's good? Let's see. Sean King and Wade Gibson. And let's see, Mark, what's up? Let's go. And let's see, is he up to out yet? So here's the, uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing about that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right off the bat what I'm talking about. And it is this. Now, what is this, right? This is basically a screenshot that the developers showed us of what looks to be a project called American Marksman. Now, it was posted in an Off-Road Outlaws Facebook group by the Off-Road Outlaws developers. This came directly from the Off-Road Outlaws developers. Now, it looks very similar to the Off-Road Outlaws uh, user interface, but you can see there's a campfire, there's a tent, there's like this gorgeous mountainscape in the background. And does that lead to a new game? Does it lead to an Offered Outlaws update? Does it lead to a lot of like carryover like we've seen between say, um, the drag racing game and this game, uh, no limit. So a lot, a lot, a lot of new, um, new and interesting speculation is starting to brew around what you're seeing on the screen right now. And yes, those campfire physics are entirely brand new. And I mean, if they have carryover with off-road outlaws, that would be absolutely incredible to see. You can also see there are different, um, you, you have like multiple weapons that you can switch between and that's going to be a big change from the interface that we have right now. So what I'm going to do is in the spirit of that screenshot being shared for the first time by the Offered Outlaws developers, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to build some trucks and do some scenarios in the same vein and inspired by what that screenshot actually showed us in regards to the project that we are currently referring to as American Marksman. Now, I'm, again, we're not sure yet whether that adds to Offered Outlaws itself or if it's the third game from the developers in that lineup of No Limit Drag Racing, Offered Outlaws, and then, of course, American Marksman. Now, that also doesn't mean that there wouldn't be carryover and crossover between the games as well. I think that the potential for crossover here is really, really, really high. And not only that, but that essentially confirms that they're working on a hunting aspect on this game engine in the background. Now, before we get any more into that, and before we start building any more trucks, I do want to let you guys know that if you want to take part in the virtual truck meet, you can actually head over to our Discord server, which the link is pinned up at the top of the chat, and if you go into the Off-Road Outlaws channel in our Discord server, you can post your vehicles in there, and I will be able to check them out and give you some feedback on them, or rate them, and let you know what I think of your builds, especially from the standpoint point of like hunting rigs and off-road rigs or if you even want to build like a show rig or a shop truck it's open to everything but you know you can carry on with whatever theme that you like so 
Let's see. There's a fourth secret game. Oh, very interesting. Hmm. Let's see. I can honestly see an American Marksman driving an old Rusty C10 or Power Wagon Overland conversion. I could totally see that. Yeah, I could totally see Oh, maybe with a swivel bed. Oh, God, right? Can you please make a forerunner? Uh, no worries, dude. Yeah, we can definitely get to some very interesting builds as the stream goes along. And, of course, we will have our truck meet rounds coming up as well. So make sure you stay tuned for all of those. Now, if you guys have any other ideas about what that American Marksman game could be or what that American Marksman update could be, please do let me know any thoughts and opinions that you guys have around that out there in the chat. Now, let's see. Uh, Wise and Charles, what's up? And Colton and Bubba 12 b what's going on, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping back by. Jimmy Thompson, thank you for stopping in as well. We appreciate you being out here. Now, let me actually see Yo, we already got people posting their rigs out there in the Discord server. This is not a Prius hauler, LOL. We got Yeet Customs with his F450 and his trailer setup. That looks so good. Pulling trucks with the old school Bronco. Very realistic on the builds there. Loving that. Now, I don't know if there's anything more we could do to the Yeep, uh, minus changing the wheels. I'm not the biggest fan of the current wheels that we have on this thing, so I am going to rotate them to something. Oh, God. Not that. <laughs> Absolutely not that. All right, let's see what would look good on this thing as a, you know, a full-on set of, like, crawler wheels. And to be honest, I actually think that if we do this, we could stick with the beadlock that's already on there. Yeah, that looks really good because it's got its own beadlock design. It doesn't necessarily need to stick with, you know, the other beadlock that's on top of it. Like, these are their own beadlocked wheels, and they actually don't look too bad. I'm kind of back and forth about how it looks really chunky, you know what I mean? But what's up, McLean Pew? I see you out there checking in. Now, let's see, Melissa Zwart and Mike Gaming and a male Oh, wait, I already said, uh, yeah, I saw you out there in the chat. Um, and hey, TC, I'm banned from your Discord. Hey, if you're banned from the Discord, uh, always high 6 power stroke. There's obviously a reason for that. I trust my moderation team, and if you believe that it was done in error, we can look into it. So, it's said to the gamer, what's up, dude? Now, if you guys are just jumping in with us and you haven't seen what we're talking about today, Day. This right here on the screen right now is a screenshot that the Offroad Outlaws developers themselves actually shared with us in the community, and it's a game called American Marksman or a project called American Marksman. Now, I don't know what this does for Offroad Outlaws as a game, but I gotta tell you, I'm really excited to see what the potential crossovers are between this and Off-Road Outlaws. Now, will this add functional camping and new tents and campfires to Off-Road Outlaws later on down the road? Potentially. I would really love to see that. Will this also add the potential for weapon switching over to Off-Road Outlaws um, that it doesn't necessarily have right now? I would also love to see that. There's binoculars. There's several different stances. There's all sorts of different things that this update could mean, and in the spirit of that, what we're actually going to be doing as one of the things on the stream today is we are actually going to be building a camper of our own. So let's see. How did you get that custom grill? So actually, this custom grill is all a, uh, it's all done with like vinyl layering. So the flag is a layer itself, but there's also some extra layers around the corners right here that I that I did in gray to make it look like the grill itself was one big piece. So now we're actually going to go into the dealership. We're going to buy a new trailer and we're going to build ourselves a camper. We're going to try to build ourselves a proper high quality, really well put together premium camper. I don't know why I said premium, but either way, where are my trailers? Where am I? There we go. All right, now I need something very, yes. It's not going to remain green, but it's going to be the TC Customs Camper, and it's going to be inspired by that American Marksman screenshot that the Offered Outlaws developers shared with us in the hopes that later on down the road, we will actually be able to experience those elements in a future Offered Outlaws update. So I'm crossing my fingers. I'm hoping for the best. And if you guys have anything else that you would like to see come out of that game or that game's experience, let me know out there in the chat of 
of course, and you guys will also have a major hand in building not only this camper, but several other vehicles across the course of the stream. So I could not be more excited to jump into this today. And you, dude, you guys are already creeping up on that first 100 likes mark on the stream. Thank you all so much. Jackson, what's up? Jake and Krista, and let's see. Um, we got Alex, what's up? What's up? Put viewers' names on. Oh, that'd be awesome. Let's see. Braden and Gage and Rusty M. Uh, let's see. It's Top Gear Camper Van, the Scourge of Clarkson. Yes, definitely. Now, we also got to update our dude right here. Now, we've got the good old No Limit shirt. We got the cowboy hat, but I'm going to change that up a little bit. I think it's been... We've had the cowboy hat for uh, long enough. I'm thinking the chef's hat because, you know, we cook up some nice rigs. Um... David Dollar, hey, TC campers, huh? Well, what do you mean with the, I, I, I'm seeing your message. I see you, oh, what's up, Hunter Moore and the Flying J? But I see you guys, uh, or sorry, I see you in particular reposting that message. And we're going to build a camper right here on the stream. And also in that screenshot of um, of the American Marksman game that the Offered Outlaws developers shared, they showed a tent, which implies that there could be potential, um, at, like actual functional camping aspects in the game as we go along. So, Let's swap over to, let's see, oh god, bruh, I like that, I can work with that, I can work with that, yep, I can, yep, I can work with that, alright, now, it is time to build the camper, now, this is going to be a wild process, because I haven't really ever built a proper camper before, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a metallic white finish and let's also um let's also make sure that we save like as we go along what's going on mr gamer thank you so much for stopping by we got john fowler as well and let's see um oh what's up gavin and tyler thank you so much oh they had a trailer that carries more than one vehicle i would love to see them do that but i think they said at one point that they had some hardware limitations with that either way so let's see right off the get-go we need to make a door a door is very important. Now, uh, there we go. Should it be more rounded off? Probably. Mm, let's see. So I think the door should be about that width. And then once we have the door, well, uh, I'm, mm, yeah, okay. You know what? All right, door is there. And then we duplicate it. And then we go up one more level. That, that, that's a, that's a good door. That, that door works for me. I think that's, that is a, that is a nice door. Now, let me make sure that I've mirrored it to the other side perfectly. And that one, I'm okay with having it backwards. You know what I mean? Make a round door too big. What do you mean? That looks about right to me. Now, let's see. What's up, Brandon and Sonya? I see you out there in the, ch uh, in the chat. Um, David Dollar, I want TSL boggers so badly. Dude, I, I I support that. Boggers in this game would be incredible. Now, I also want to see if there's any way that we could make it look like a make it look like a real camper. So, you guys out there in the chat, let me know how are we going to make this look like a real camper. You guys have as much of a hand in this build as I do, and I want you guys to put all of that out there in the chat, because obviously we're in a very basic state with this right now. Where would you go next? What would you do next? And let me know how we should proceed. Random ability, make windows. Uh, let's see, they should add actual campers. That They definitely should. All right, so let's see. Random ability says windows and I agree with you windows are definitely a definitely a thing that we need my question is should it be like a should it be like a round window almost or should it be kind of a squared off window now there are different ways that we could do that but actually I wonder dude actually TC Customs on the back. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of, ooh, oval windows? That's a good point. Yo. So, do we want it further up the camper like this and kind of enlarged? Or do we want it further back the camper? Um, because if we do it further back the camper, um, let's see, 4th Gen Ram 2500, um, I technically, do I have an account over there? Yes, but I have I used it, it, it recently at all? No. Um, <laughs> let's see. Make those, wait, make those things on the roof? Wait, what? Let's see. 
on one side, long window with a backslash on one end, on the other two, or on the other side, two square windows. Um, interesting. Making a camper nice. Oh, heck yeah, we are, dude. Now, we're doing this actually as inspired by that screenshot that the Offered Outlaws developers recently shared of a either a new game or potentially evidence of an Offered Outlaws update later on down the road called American Marksman. So, which that seems to involve a lot of camping and hunting. So, of course, we got to build a camper so that we are ready to go when it drops. So let's see. I'm talking about AC units. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, so let's see. That can tilt. This is true. All right, here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to set that right there. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to make it... Well, here's the thing, though. It wouldn't necessarily be, like, just pure, you know, like... It wouldn't be just pure white like that. It would be like, ooh, we could do like tinted glass. Oh, that would actually be kind of cool. If like, think of it like a tinted window almost. Oh, that would be neat. That would be really neat. Think of it like tinted windows. Oh, that would be so cool. I would love that. And uh, let's see, Taylan. So for those of you guys that are talking about like whether or not there is a update to Offered Outlaws, the update that we are talking about is there's a big update around the game itself and a future game coming from the same developers that could be involved with Offered Outlaws directly called American Marksman. Now, this obviously shows a sort of a camping environment. You've got a little stand up there on the right. You've got a tent. You've got a campfire. You've got a very similar user interface to what we see in Offered Outlaws. And I would really expect to see a potentially a lot of crossover for the elements of this game in Offered Outlaws as we get a little bit closer later on down the road. So I am definitely excited to see what they do with this and what kind of what kind of scenarios it gives us access to. What's up, Dr. Razor78? Thank you so much for stopping by. A lot of people are saying uh, make a door handle. Oh, don't worry. We are very, very soon. I'm seeing XJ and a forerunner out there in the Discord truck meet, by the way, by Treadhawk. We got Bear Bro Tuska's tow rig and, oh, dude, Heck yeah, we got some proper setups from him down there in the Discord server. If you guys want to take part in the virtual truck meet, make sure to hit that uh, link that is pinned up at the top of the chat. By the way, loving that flatbed S10 and also that fairly, uh, actually super realistic um, square body. That's uh, low slow 64, dropping that out there. We also got a slammed S10. Got a 57 from Alex. Got Xavier with his big old first gen. Got Chase with his Fox body Mustang and a massive massive monster CUDA by Phoenix. Very high quality on that build. Oh, y'all just blew through that first 100 likes mark on the stream. Thank you all so much. And make sure to let me know out there in the chat where you think the developers are going with that screenshot that they released. And also, what features are you hoping they carry over from that into Offered Outlaws in, of course, an upcoming update. So, let's go ahead and get that door handle put together. And I want to say that the best way... To do that might actually be, well, oh, I'm very, hmm, let's see. Yes, I know, I've reached the limit. Hold on, before you uh, get mad at me for reaching the limit, uh, Offered Outlaws, please don't crash. Please don't crash. If you crash, I'll be very sad. All right, now, there's that right there. Okay, now, is that going to be... Should that be, well, should it be, like, white as in, like, the body color of the camper? Or, wait, make a rounded rectangle, big split window on the other side? Okay, okay, you might want to make the windows glossy. I don't know if it'll allow us to do that. Hold on. Let's see if it'll actually allow us to do that. Because this is all mirrored at the moment, but let me see. Like, does it actually... Um... I don't know if it actually allows us to make it glossy on the window itself. Now, there's obviously going to be a little bit of a difference between... Oh! You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually move this oval window up to the front. And once I move it up to the front, it may... Because I think it's mirrored on the other side as well. Is it? It is. That means that we can set you right here. And then we can get the actual tinted glass part of it, bring it along the edge as well, and then situate it inside. Yes, dude. 
This is actually looking sick. Okay, so let me get this all nice and positioned. And good to go. All said and done. That's actually kind of neat. I know that I have like this overarching theme of um, like this overarching theme of like weird windows right now, but ooh, that's true. I should unmirror the door. Um, someone out there in the chat said I need to unmirror the door, and I agree with you because obviously it would only be on that one side, so there's no reason to have it mirrored. Now, on the other side, we can actually do a large window over here, and I think that this is a really good opportunity for us to kind of, uh, kind of go a little bit more crazy with a large, large window, and if we do kind of something like this... We could then, like, literally set that right there, and then we could duplicate it, size it down just a hair, and then kind of do a tinted sort of glass deal and ease it into kind of position like that. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. Will Allen, what's up, buddy? And David Dollar, do you have any info on any future uh, No Limit 2.0 updates? We will um, we will be talking about the uh, the upcoming No Limit 2.0 updates on a No Limit stream. Thank you so much, by the way, for mentioning it. Put TC Customs on the bottom. Oh, don't worry. We're about to go uh, we're about to go nuts with the TC Customs stuff. So let me apply all of that, and then we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. So on the back door. Obviously, it's going to have the TC logo, but instead of TC Customs... Oh, thank you, Eli the Camper. I really appreciate it. BC Customs, welcome back. And now, okay, so it's going to be the massive TC logo on the rear door, but it's actually underneath it. I have a surprise for you guys that I am very excited about. Is that... Is that off-center? Mmm... Is that off center? No, it's close enough. All right, let me get the text. Let me get the text and we'll get the TC logo all squared away and put together. All right, this one's super simple. You got your TC logo right there. Boom. Oh yeah, we've gone, uh, we've gone a little big. We've gone a little big. And you know, honestly, I don't know if that's too big or not, but oh, bro. Get that bot out of the chat. Bot ban. Bot ban. Yep, let's see. I like the trailer so far. Is that the TC logo? Absolutely it is, Mr. Gamer. And let's see. Oh, don't worry, random ability. I didn't just mute him. I banned him. It's gone. Now, so we've got that done. And underneath it, dude, I'm so pumped for this. Instead of TC Customs, it's going to say something just a little bit different. TC Camping. Oh, this is this is a new division of TC Customs we have going on here. This is going to be... This is actually going to work really, really well. Although I wonder... How about this? We've got the logo on the back. So I'm going to put this on the... Like, kind of on the side. And you know, I don't hate it. I actually... I like it a lot. Now, we're going to do that right there. But here's the thing. We're going to duplicate it. And then we're going to 3D it. So, once we 3D... Yes, there it is! Oh, that's... That's the stuff, dude. That is the freaking stuff! Let's go! Oh, that's amazing. That is so sick. Please make a fan on the roof. I'm definitely... um. Wait, bro, put a baggage hatch where you could store suitcases like a touring bus? I don't know how I would build that. But, oh, dude, I love how the 3D text looks. I love it so much. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate this again... And I got to remember to save my work soon because, uh, as we all know, sometimes Offered Outlaws likes to get a little crashy when you do um, custom logo making. So we're going to duplicate this. We're going to go full red. And then we're going to 3D eyes it. There we go. Perfect. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. TC camping right down the side. And then now, don't you dare. Okay, whoo, I thought it was gonna freaking lose it, dude. I thought it was gonna lose it. So if you guys are just joining us on the stream today, dude, make sure that you guys, I'm gonna post my camper in the Discord. Heck yeah, dude. 
So if you guys are just jumping in with us, we are not only building camping rigs and off-road vehicles and hanging out with you guys, but we're also talking about this, which is a game that the Offroad Outlaws developers literally just recently dropped a screenshot of called American Marksman. Now, this is not out yet. This is literally, they dropped this out of the blue, and I would really love to see some elements of this game making their way into Offroad Outlaws with the ability to make our own campsites, our own campfires, set up tents. You can also see that there's different slots for different weapons down there on the bottom of the screen. I think that there's so much potential for what is to come in the future for Offered Outlaws now that we've added this American Marksman dynamic into it that I could not be more excited to see where this game is going to continue to go. And that's why I'm building not only a camper, but a lot of other vehicles that you guys are actually going to direct the builds of throughout this stream. By the way, the outdoors, Dawson 5 and Alvin Wallace, thank you guys so much for stopping by. And TC, I got a question. What's up, dude? What is up? Thank you for stopping by, by the way. And also, yeah, if any of you guys have a question, by the way, just let me know out there in the chat. Big Troy Boy, what's up? And let's see. Hey, TC, I want No Limit to add a 95 Civic Type R hatch. That'd be so freaking sick. Once again, Mr. Gamer, drop your question out there in the chat if you got one. And I'm going to have some coffee. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> All right. So, the camper now needs, well... I don't think we can put a fan on the roof. I would love to put an AC unit on the roof, but I don't think we can. I really don't. Now, what else can we do to the camper to make it look real, you know? Um, John, thank you for hanging out while you could. Uh, TC, for the bag of stores, make a small rectangle and then put a white rectangle on top of that. And, uh, on top of that one, make sure it's covering most of the original rectangle and add a handle. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Hey, I put the best thing to do. Oh, God. I got to see that in the Discord truck meet. What we got going? Oh, no. Bear Bro Tusca, why you do this? Um, Yo, that's actually a really sweet camper. I need, um, so Treadhawk, I need some graphics like that to make it look more real. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh, a power socket. That's actually a really good idea. Like a really, really good idea. Um, so we need like a couple of like little hookup spots on this thing. But before we do that, I wonder, so, oh, this is going to be perfect. All right. Awesome. Amazing. So let's see fully. Should we black that out or should we do a slightly different, like, Ooh, we could do kind of like a darker green and then make it go all the way back through the camper itself, but as just like a graphic, and then we'll put it behind everything. So let's see, where is, so we've got it down there, and then let me put this behind like everything. And once I've got it behind everything, hold on, let me go up the order. Now it's almost there, no. Stop it. And... Oh, it's behind everything now. Do we just got to change the... Oh, God. Bot ban. Ban, ban, ban. Oh, bro. We banned it again. We banned it again. I think that that's a different, like... Let's see. Um, I think that that's a different one. Yeah, we got him banned. We got him banned, y'all. Yeah, we... We, we... Yeah, pretty much. We got him banned. All right, so I think I might need to actually make that even bigger, like, in order for it to look right. I think I might need to make it even bigger, and um, there we go. So it goes the full length of the camper. That looks a lot more real. That, that looks a lot more real, I think. I mean, I know it's not exactly perfectly sized yet, but that looks a lot more real. Um, so let's see. Um... That's what that button does. Thank you. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yep, 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 yep. And now, um, as we... That looks really good. Um, the, yeah, the hack is back. Oh, God. TC, what's up, TB64? Um, wait, who's the bot? I hope it's not me. Oh, no, dude. There was a random, like, bot out there in the chat. We banned him. We banned him so fast. Storage doors. Uh, nice job, TC question. What's up? Always high to power stroke. Yeah, now we got to get... So, first of all... Let me save that so that we don't have to worry about the game crashing and then losing our design progress. Let me go back now and make a um, just a couple of little like hookup points on the back. And I think what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to do this. 
And then once we have this here, I will put a, to make it look almost like a hookup socket, what I'll do is I'll do that. And then um, I'll do a couple of these. So we'll do that right there. We'll duplicate it. We'll put another one right here. And then we'll save those. And then we'll put a, we'll put a circle inside of it. Um, and we'll make it kind of like just a white circle. So it essentially looks like a spot that you could um, plug something in on the side of the camper. So we'll put that right there. And then we'll duplicate that. And then we'll put it inside the other plug. So that's good to go. And then now I just want like a dot or something inside uh, inside those, but I think they could even, they could look pretty good as is. Now, we gotta figure out how this thing looks behind a properly built truck. So, let's see, what's up, Professor 2700? Thank you so much for stopping back by in the stream. Now, the reason why we are currently building a camper is because the Offered Outlaws developers dropped some wild, wild news literally just the other day, and they announced a brand new upcoming game called American Marksman, which could very very well bring some carryover game mechanics to off-road outlaws because they're essentially from the same developers. Now we could see a fully animated campfire, a fully set up campsite. You got a tower up there on the right. You've got a custom tent. You got switchable weaponry. Like it, this is incredible stuff. And I cannot wait to see how all of these features cross over with Offered Outlaws and make this game even more enjoyable. And that's not even considering the hunting dynamics of this game that it could also bring to Offered Outlaws. So I would love to see where they go with this dynamic. So now that we've got the camper pretty close, uh, don't look at that. Don't look at that over there on the right. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. What's up, the Chicken of Doom? I see you checking it out there. Uh, let's see, Mia Hyatt and Colton and Jack Thomas Gaming. Welcome back to the stream, you guys. Thank you again so much to TDM. I see you saying you love the videos out there. Thank you so much, my dude. Now, I also got to make a quick stop right into the Auburn Dallas channel in the Discord. JK88, I love that Tundra. That Tundra with the TC logo on the side, that looks amazing. Let's see, we got Mayberry Kid with their camper. Oh, that looks awesome, dude. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so freaking good. I love the Duramax you're pulling it with, too. And let's see, look at my truck, TC. It looks awesome. Yeah, I'm digging that Ram, Chris. Also loving the shots. Uh, Pitcher, uh, let's see, 295. And we got Jesse Smokefish with the gorgeous supercharged Mustang. Absolutely gorgeous. Your main rigs. Uh, Koi, I see you checking it out there in the chat. And very nice uh, camper, Hacker Man. Hold on one second. I'm replying to you with a gift that I think really, uh, really fits your name. I cannot look at your name without, uh, without seeing this gif in my head. But either way, let's go ahead and see, um, I like how it says TC on the side. Yeah, dude, this thing is a beast. TC camping, like, we gotta put together a truck that would work well not only as a, not only as, like, a, a truck that we could take camping, but a truck that we could also take out in the woods or take to a truck meet or even use as a shop truck. Now, Colton and, uh, Chantel, what's going on, you guys? Thank you so much. When's the update coming out? Well, as far as that goes, what we were talking about in terms of an update is we're talking about the update revolving around American Marksman, which is a game that was just announced out of the blue, out of nowhere, by the Offered Outlaws developers. And let's see, make a SEMA Tundra? Ooh, that'd be pretty sick, actually. I have a couple of Tundras, and I've been wanting to do another one. This one is a 1794 edition, and I really want to, like, you know, I really want to kind of change this thing up a little bit from being sort of a standard rig to something a little bit more gnarly, a little bit more lifted, a little bit more, um, oh, heck yeah, CG, that's amazing, 103 vehicles, right, like, it's pretty nuts, now, let's see, that's independent heavy duty, we're going uh, a little bit more gnarly, we're going heavy duty trophy, and we're gonna lift the crap out of this thing, we're doing heavy-duty trophy in the front and solid axle pro on the 1794 in the back. This thing is going to be a monster machine. And, of course, it's also going to be fully set up to tow the camper and whatever we throw inside that camper because it's also a toy hauler. So let's go back to the front of the truck now. And we're going to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. 
Come on, here we go. Obviously, it's not going to stay like that in the back, but let's see. We'll bump that travel up a little bit, but we need to leave room for stiffness as well. And actually, might bring that down just a hair, so it's a little bit more level. Not bad, not bad. And in the rear, what is my axis width up front? 0 0.06? Yeah, let's see. 0 0.05, 0 0.06. Why does 0 0.06 look wider? Oh, different axle configuration. That's fair. Okay, so 0 0.03 is going to be a little bit closer to what's accurate for that. So that's good. Now, let's see. Um, Sterner console is a new Mac Anthem. I've seen that. It, uh... Although I, I found it very odd that the um, that that its name was Thor, I was like, there's there's definitely already a very very gnarly Thor. But I definitely need to check that thing out. Shane Daniel, what's up? And Mr. Dan or sorry, Mr. Gamer, welcome back. And Rohan Williams, what's going on? Just built your camper. That's legit. Make the wheels poke a lot. Oh, don't worry. We're we're getting closer uh, and closer to that as we go along. Now, wheel radius in the front, we're going up to like a 1.3. And let's see, I think 1.315 is a really good balance. 1.315, not bad at all. Now, I do need to go, if we're going for a little bit more of like that SEMA truck look, then we're going to need to make this, uh, wait, tense? Very, very, very possibly in terms of that, um, that announcement about the game, um, American Marksman, because as you can see in the screenshot, the newest screenshot of American Marksman right here, there's literally a placeable tent and a campfire and all sorts of new functionality that could very well come to Offered Outlaws in a upcoming update. We have no idea if or when these are going to have any crossover, but just the fact that we're being able to, like, like, even look at this and talk about it, mad props to the Offered Outlaws developers for sharing this with us, because this is huge, huge for the game, and huge for the community as well. Now, let's go up to that 1.4 in the back, and I'm going to be switching up the wheel style just a tad, because I like the setup, I really do. Um, I'm not so sure if I'm going to keep the... Um, basically, squatted truck wheel size, but the truck owner knows what a leaf spring is, at least, LOL. Um... So let's switch up the wheel style now. So I like these, but I... Uh, uh, I mean, those are all right. I'm kind of back and forth on this. I really am. I'm really back and forth on what route I want to go. Like, I like these. I like these a lot. I just don't know if it's the route for me. Now... I'm going to see how I feel about it. I'm going to see if I like it, but I also need to do the axle coloring. So let's see. Bot alert. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, where? Uh, wait. Always high 6 power stroke. I think you're very, very, very behind because you literally said bot alert and there's like no bot out there. You can climb anything off of outlaws, just placing targets and jumping on them. Whoa, I didn't even realize that. That's so sick. By the way, I do need to check out the uh, the ongoing truck meet in the Discord where we've got David with his massive cat eye with a giant flag in the back. We got the Baja El Camino, which looks amazing. Very nice, like heavily lifted uh, first gen and second gen by RSN Customs. Nice, um, nice camper as well, uh, Gabe, uh, that's being towed behind that first gen. Um, let's see. Yo, that, uh, color fade, like, blue and black, uh, Ford setup is looking really, really, really nice, actually. Nice camper, Dante. That camper is really, really nice. I'm loving that setup. Oh, happy birthday to you, AC99. Seriously, that's legit. Now, let's see. Um, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, it's so power strong. Oh, what's up, Daniel McDaniels? Welcome back. All right, let me get this all dialed in. So... I want this to be somewhat, you know, like, somewhat bright, somewhat noticeable. And, you know, with making it somewhat bright and noticeable... Ooh! You know, I don't actually hate that. I really don't. Like, why don't I, like, why do I like that? Because I feel like I should... Yo! That's unintentionally color matched to the truck with this, like, blue accent that, like, somehow sets it off. I am upset that I like that. Why? What? Like, how did that... 
How did that work? What? All right, I got you, Chicken of Doom. No worries, no worries. And let's see, bigger map and hunting and sleeping in. That'd be so sick to do. Um, now, also, as we go on through here, I need to get a camping, like, vehicle. I need to get a campground vehicle um, to haul around in the back of that, like, toy hauler slash camper. So, give me a moment to grab a side-by-side -side or an ATV in, in hopes that, well, the game doesn't crash on us. Or we could, oh, dude, oh, we could take that thing out. Oh, man, I still need to wash that thing. That thing's been mildly to moderately neglected. I feel really bad about it, but uh, it's fine. So let me scroll through and find something that I really think would be amazingly fun on the campground. Parker Grog, welcome back. Have you seen the announcement for this American Marksman, bro, we have been absolutely like, so I've been trying to tear this screenshot apart literally throughout the entire stream, and it is wild. So you've got switchable weapons down here, you've got a freaking like little tower up there on the right, you got the tent, you got the campfire, and all of this stuff like... Honestly, like all of this stuff, I really hope that we see crossover between this and Alfred Outlaws later on down the road because think about how cool all of those features would be to have in Alfred Outlaws itself. Like I would be absolutely losing my mind if they said that those were going to come to Alfred Outlaws. So let's see. Your Tundra is IFS from the factory. What's the rear suspension from the factory? Um, It is... It's basically like like just a leaf spring uh, solid axle. Yeah, leaf sprung solid axle. Three wheelers are scary. I mean, yeah, but like, here's the thing. Do you care? Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Luca, what's up? Uh, Luca Taverta, uh, Tourism? I don't know how to, I, I don't know your, I, I'm sorry. I can't pronounce your last name properly. So let's see. Whoa! Whoever built this GMC did a amazing job. GMC, 2500 HD, Denali. Oh, that looks... That is so, like, proper realistic looking. Now, is there anything else that I... Why didn't I do... Oh, wait. I want to do cab lights on the Tundra. We need to do... Wait, why do you still have the squatted truck? Because I haven't sold it yet. And actually, you know what? I literally have been so busy with so many other things that I haven't had the chance to sell it, but I think I'm going to go ahead and sell it. So I know I love the GMC. Heck yeah, dude. I just built a camper and loaded up my, uh, loaded up my Can-Am. Oh, that's legit. Thomas, what's up? That's like the Superman of three wheelers. Yeah, just about. God. All right. Where's the squat boy? There it is. All right. You're getting yoinked. Yep. Oh God. Somebody was willing to give me $81,000 for that. Yike. All right. Let's see. TC, I can build that GMC better. LOL. Right. Why is there no real GMC yet? What do you mean, why is there no real GMC yet? I mean, I... It, 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 what? Albert Outlaws doesn't really have the uh, the licensing to do that. But let me equip the camper. And we really need to see what this thing is actually like once the... Um, like, once we get it out in the wild. So, y'all are actually creeping up on that 200 likes mark on the stream. Thank you guys so much. I genuinely appreciate it. Now, also... Um, benefits of IFS um it's actually better than it's it's better at like tracking straight down the highway than a lifted uh, solid axle is solid axle trucks like especially when they've got a lot of lift on them going straight down the road is like doing this on the like on the steering wheel the whole time you're literally like going back and forth like that and nine times out of ten the steering wheel is like here to go straight it's like a lot of Jeeps are like that. And that's not to call out Jeeps and say like that they're bad or anything. That's just to say that a lot of them are not exactly set up very well in terms of alignment. So let's see. Reed Davis, what's up, bud? And let's see. Yeah, sell it. Let's see. Love the Bean videos. Thank you so much, Kaden. I really appreciate it, dude. Now, let's see. Mikey and Tom, welcome back. The truck meet is going on throughout the entire stream. By the way, you guys, you can use the Discord link pinned up at the top of the chat to join our Discord server and partake in the truck meet. And also, we have some multiplayer rounds coming up soon as well. Off-road guy, that thing looks legit. We've also got uh, all that awesome Ram TRX out there. Um, let's see. Uh, JK88 with a very nice Cat Eye Chevrolet and pulling trucks with the really nice GMC. Man, y'all are dropping them in there. Feel free to head over to the Discord server if you have haven't done just yet and let's see why are there so many gmc's being built i mean i guess people like them so you know what we're gonna do actually 
I haven't done this in a while, but we're literally going to jump into a completely random game, like, that people are already in, and people are probably, like, I love surprising people like this, because people are like, what do you mean? Why did, what? They're like, where did you, where did you come from? Now, let's see. Um, oh, I am so excited now, because... This is going to be brilliant. This is going to be absolutely brilliant. Wait, what? Um, CG, you're going to be called... What? What are you talking about? Um, Mr. Gamer says, bro, that's so sad. Wait, hold on. I'm very confused. Um, yo, what's up, Tyler Dunn? I see you out there in the chat. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, why are so many GMCs being built? And then he said you're going to be called out for being fake. What? I am so confused. What's up, Gilly Gaming? I see you out there in the chat checking in with us. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you stopping by. And let's see. Please make a profit server. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Um, we are absolutely... We're abs Wait. He means people will, will say you're not real. I mean, I'm very real. I'm absolutely right here. Let's see. Um... And public servers are, oh, yeah, well, see, that's part of the, that's part of the fun of it, dude. That's, like, literally part of the fun of it, like, is always to see what actually happens when you join a random session, and you're like, um, and you're like, hey, y'all, and they're like, oh, you're not, you're not TC, and they're like, oh, I'm on the stream, bud. <laughs> oh, it's great. Let's see. Wow, somebody out there in the chat was like, I'm not even, bro, I'm not even gonna, like, I'm not going to even give that one a response. All right. Let's drop that hitch down. And let's see. 24 inches of drop. Good grief. All right. So, let's see. Hello there. Let's see what happens. Because literally, I was just like, hello there. How is that going to go? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, this is great. Hold on. <laughs> Am I real? Are you on the stream? IDK. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. This is going to be freaking hilarious. I love it. Let's see. Um, thanks so much, Colton, by the way. And I need to get out of this, like, predicament that I'm in right now because I can't move. Hold on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I love how they... I love how, like, some of the spawn points on this map are like, yeah, I'm going to put you in, like, a... Um, I'm going to put you in a random corner that you can't freaking drive out of. Um, let's see. Oh, that's awesome, uh, Luca. That's sick. I love how this camper came out, by the way. The camper came out so good. And I kind of dig the truck, too. Uh, uh, uh. Um, do I have repairs? Yes. Hold on. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What's the map name? Uh, the map is... Wait a minute. Oh, can I not repair? Oh, I forgot to put repairs in my 1794 Tundra. Oops. Big oops. Hold on. Uh, RSN Customs. How did, how did RSN Customs make it into a random lobby? What? Yo, what? How did... How did RSN Customs make it into a random lobby? That's so wacky. Yo, okay, hold on, hold on. There's a bunch of people that are rotating in this thing. Oh my god, that's so weird. Oh, this is so odd. Okay, hold on. Jack Customs. Hello there. Oh, this is grand. Like, I'm just blown away. Like, nobody has, like, responded to the chat. What are they doing? Oh my god, what are they doing? This is freaking hilarious. All right, let me find a let me find a spot to post up the camper real quick. I don't even know how um, how RSN Customs made it in. He crashed. Ooh, big oof, big old oof. All right, let me find a spot to post up this camper. I need to figure out what I can do for it. Let's see, Jack Customs, bro. I think the game is just crashing people out because so many people are trying to join and they're trying to like. Join and leave and join and leave and join and leave. Um, that sounds like an awesome map, Chimes Outlaw. That sounds sick. I need to find a campsite for this dang campground. Uh, or for this dang uh, camper. 
but also you guys i definitely want to let you know if you haven't heard of the news around the american marksman game it's a new it seems to be a new game that the offered outlaws developers are working on and i'll show it to you guys right here it seems to be a new game that the offered outlaws developers are working on and i would venture a guess that elements of this game could possibly be shared with offered outlaws later on down the road like for example the tents and the you know the campfire and the, maybe the the switchable weapons and like hopefully there's hunting aspects to it too and even like you know objects like that tower and these gorgeous landscapes i would love to see more about that game from the offered outlaws developers later on in the future so let's see um it crashed my game no oh no all right i'm by the way uh there's literally one dude out there in the chat that has been posting the same thing over and over and over and over and i've timed him out and oh what yo that's awesome this dude like made it in oh what's up what's up he's like oh it's logan what's good dude these guys are like just roaming around all over the place it's great man y'all are about to blow through that 200 likes mark on the stream thank you guys again so much and t tortoise what's up all right let me find an actual usable spot for my camper because i gotta get it out of the uh the neighborhood that's the fire department. I don't think you're allowed to live there. I think they'll probably boot you if you live there uh, or if you try to live there. Hold on. Uh, we got the gas station right up here. We got... Okay, this is ironic because his username is Ford and he's driving a Chevy. Um, like, bruh. I'm like, okay. I need... I love the color coordination, though, that Logan did right here. That looks sick. That looks so good. Now, I'm actually going to be going back into the Offered Outlaws channel in the Discord very, very soon. And if you guys want to show me your vehicles, please join the Discord server and throw your rigs into the Offered Outlaws channel. That is the best way for me to be able to see them. Yo, I love this camper, dude. This camper absolutely went above and beyond my expectations so let's see now what is whoa the freaking mall all right all right let's go we can't camp at the mall though if we try to camp at the mall they will be very upset with us i love that realistic side by side though yo i love it oh this is so sick what's up cruz miller i see you guys checking it out there in the chat now where where in the heck do i post this up i can't find the campground i'm moderately confused i'm trying to find the campground oh god what's up all right hold on uh is it that way no man by the time i uh find my way around the map oh yo what's up the junkyard over there all right I don't think I should camp there, but either way. So there's like a trailer park out there, but that's still not a campground. I mean, well, wait, what's back there? Is that an off-road trail? There's a trailer and a barn right there. I want to say, yo, we got farm fields. We got all the stuff, dude. Fairgrounds. Oh, man. All right. I think, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I see something. Oi. Ow. Ow. Well, that went well. Did you mean to smash into me? Was that your uh, intended... Uh, was that your intended plan? Because I don't think it was. All right. So let me see also. Um, love the videos. Thank you so much, Logan. All right. I think this might be the way to at least some of the campgrounds. We got some houses back here on the dirt road. Oh, yo, what is that? What? That's amazing. That is amazing. Look at these houses. Yo, I have never been back here before. This is like luxury. This is like proper luxury houses, bud. Is there something in the back of this one? Oh, dude, please tell me that there's some like crazy garage. Oh, never mind. Oh, man. I am, wow, okay, um, I, I was, I, I am disappointed from that, oof, slight oof there, hold on, let me go ahead and, uh, turn the truck around, because the, oh boy, excuse me, oh god, oh god, oh, the game crashed, 
Well, at least we had it there for a minute. I mean, I'm going to go back to where those houses were. Uh, what is the name of the map? I'll show you in a moment. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's a public server. Um, but no, like, I'm going to go back to where those houses were because I've never actually even seen them before. Oof, ain't the Roblox that's out anymore. I know, I know. I was sad. I was sad. I did see that, CG. It's so freaking amazing. Now, I am actually checking the Discord now. We got Mayberry Kid with the second gen. We've got a very interesting Charger build. Got, got some nice stripes going on. Bear Bro with the Nova. That's wild. Raptor R, Camaro, all sorts of great stuff. My monster truck triplets, digging it, digging it, digging it. We got Chris out there dropping a couple of other rides. Um, the Camaro and what is that? The other one. I mean, I know what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a General E replica, but um, yo, that's a sick Denali race truck. We've also got JBB building another camper with a very lifted truck. I can't quite tell what that lifted truck is from the uh from the photo, but we're actually jumping back into a public session on Seaside Auto Park. There's your map name, by the way. So, let's see. Um, wait, what? It's... Oh, no! Oh, God, Mikey and Tom. Sheesh. All right, I was asking to Power Stroke. We'll see when you get back, dude. And let's see. Are you sure about that? Wait, are you sure about what? Justin Lee, thank you so much, by the way, buddy. I appreciate you stopping by. So glad you're enjoying the videos and the streams. It's a cat eye. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Look at my truck in the Discord. Oh, don't worry, Parker Grog. I will have the ability to do that very, very soon. By the way, y'all, if you're just jumping in with us um, and haven't been hanging out with us for super long, I do want to let you guys know that there is a brand new game that the Alfred Outlaws developers have been working on called, uh, or at least it looks at the moment to be called American Marksman. Now, it looks like it could bring the same or a similar engine that Alfred Outlaws is running on to the table, but with elements of tents and campfires and camping and like weapon switching and hunting all all sorts of crazy stuff i'm just hoping that all of that um like all of that stuff all those features potentially may make their way over to offered outlaws in a future update i would absolutely love to see that happen let me know out there in the chat by the way if you guys are excited about their announcement of the american marksman game because that is going to be very interesting to see in this series's future so let me do, uh, we'll do, like, a nice 24-inch drop there, and let's see. So, this is already actually, like, legit full, and I'm gonna be like, hello there, my typical hello there, and see what happens in this public session. So, I gotta get back to where those really gnarly houses were, because they were gorgeous, dude. Let's see. Maybe if I head down to the left... I don't recognize these houses. I mean, they look kind of similar to the typical, you know, area. But I'm thinking that it's not just... Aha, uh -huh. yep, I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. Let's go. Wow, I love how I said hello there and nobody said hi back. Rude. That is the biggest drop hitch ever. It's up there. It is absolutely up there. Wait, Banana Man Jeffy, I've been ghosting in stream. No, wait, what? What do you mean? Uh, you're still very much there. Let's see. Oh, God. Let's see. Oh, God. Wait, hold on. One second. Oh, Ruben Perez? What's up, dude? I see you checking it out there in the chat. And let's see. I got a new computer. I made a new account. Oh, I got you. Thank you so much, Z-Dubs. I really appreciate you checking in with us on your new hardware. That's legit. Oh, man. TC, is that you? Hold on. Oh, this is great. TC, is that you? Maybe. Uh, maybe? Maybe not. The choice is yours. <laughs> oh my god, that's brilliant. Oh, that is hilarious. Let's see. Hello there. Let's see. Rockular 54 has joined. Yo, look at this freaking house, though. This is so gnarly. What is this? Even like a proper front door? Bruh. I am taking, uh... I am taking possession of this place. Hold on. I know I gotta find a place to camp, but, like, let me back my camper in, um, like, to the house and just, like, let it chill for a second. Um, oh, that'd be really cool. Uh, Craig, I definitely need to look into doing that. All right, let's see. What, did they say anything? Uh, I was like, maybe, maybe not. The choice is yours. <laughs> this is so freaking great. TC, you have a map? That's true, but, like, I, I like the exploration, you know? All right, and... Oh, God. All right. Boom. The trailer is chilling. The freaking camper setup. 
the TC Camping edition to TC Customs is checking in right there from the garage. Now, I'm gonna park the good old Tundra right on over here. Spin her around and, oh, geez. Really, bud? Really? Oh, no, 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 no. Stop it, please. Stop it, please. All right. Hopping out. Good to go. And let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jonah Brooks, what update? Well, as far as that goes, we're actually talking about a massive announcement that was dropped recently by the Offered Outlaws developers when they announced something called American Marksman, which looks to be a new game that is in development by the same developers. And it looks like there could be potential for the creators of this game to maybe have a little bit of like a to potentially have like a little bit of like crossover between this and Offered Outlaws, which I would love to see. So like, you know, let's say they had crossover with Offered Outlaws where, you know, there was tents or campfires or switchable weapons or maybe even hunting aspects. All of that stuff is still up in the air right now, but the fact that they put this out in the open is a huge, huge deal. Now, let's jump back into this area of the game. Why, why did I feel like Doug DeMiro just then? I was like, this? I wish there were more birds on this map. The last of the... Ah! Hello! Fast POV. What's up there, bud? Fast POV is like, OMG. And I'm like, hello there. What's good? Now, let's see. Hold on one sec. Well, I feel like they know. They, they, they know. They know they're on streak. They know. All right, Luca. We'll see you when you get back. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hope you have a great night. Now, boy... What do you be doing? You are very blue. I love how everything on his truck is like, nice run, right? Phew. I love how like, we both have somewhat realistic builds. Although I gotta tell you, please move your, holy crap, dude. Look at this design. I wonder how many times he crashed the freaking uh, design editor trying to build that because, wow. I love how, like, literally, his answer to his, like, we're like, build a camper. And he's like, all right, I'm going to get a trailer and just write camping on the back. Boom. Camper. I love where your head is at. I love the simplicity of where your head is at right now. Because this level of simplicity is something that we need in so many aspects of, like, gaming. And not only just gaming, but, like, just figuring things out in general, right? Like... There's there's something to be said about massive amounts of simplicity, like literally to the point where someone was like, make a camper. And he's like, all right, stamps the word camping on the back. And he's like, done. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I can't be mad. If I was mad, I would just they, like, I couldn't, I feel like I couldn't be mad. It's like, sure, it's not the most complicated camper out there. But boy, did did they understand the assignment or what? All right, I'm gonna get up the trailer. I think the dude wants to get in my truck with me. But I'll tell you something: like passengers would be incredible to have in Offered Outlaws. That if they added passengers, oh, that would be top freaking notch. So. What kind of trucks do I want to see in this game? I want to see the ability to take any truck in the game and make it a single cab or a quad cab or an extended cab or like literally whatever. Now, what did... Why is he pulling the trailer with the charger? Like, bruh. Um, bro, this dude needs to get his rig. I Like, I wish that you could get um in, in people's trucks, obviously, but like, boy... Um, let's see. You want to see planes? I would love to see planes, uh, in the game. TC, how do I send my truck pics on Discord? Uh, you gotta, uh, join the Discord server, agree to the rules, and then go to the Offer and Outlaws channel, and then throw, um, throw photos of your rigs right in there. And whenever I go in there and check them, I will be able to see them. Yes, passengers would be top-notch. Heck yeah, they freaking would. Um, I'm loving the, I'm loving the lightning bolt. Although, why you block the road? Why you blocked the road? Hold on, I'm about to go chaotic for a second. Excuse me. If you could like, you know, excuse yourself out of the way, that would be amazing. 
Thank you. <laughs> Bruh, you've got two trucks behind you. Oh my god. It's freaking hilarious, though. Like, no, you're fine. I wasn't meaning that in, like, an angry way. Like, I'm not upset about it in any way. I'm just, like, I just find it super hilarious how he was like, Whoa-bam! I am not moving, and if I fits, I sits. All right, off we go with TC Camping. Yo! Oh, what is this? What? Oh, we got campsites! Yo, I'm... I am so in for this. We got a campground. Oh my god. Why you black the road? Yeah, I know exactly. I just went, you know, every once in a while I'm like, yep, time to go chaotic. It's fine. All right, I'm going to get around to one of these campsites and set myself up. Um, oh god, where are y'all going? Um, 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 um. My dudes. My dudes, um, we're camping over here, not over there. But if you want to camp over there, that is, I mean, you can. That's your prerogative, I guess, but, oh, that's great. Um, all right, TC Camping is popping up right here. Wait, let's see. Fifth wheel converted enclosed trailer in order to make a fifth wheel camper. That would be awesome to see. Single cab, long bed, etc. Uh, through customization settings. We also need adjustable trailer size and length. Absolutely absolutely 100 percent totally agree with you dude now i'm actually looking at some stuff in the discord right now we got dubs as camper uh ttp dubs and that looks actually like it's a little simple but it's pretty nice we got that nice chevrolet by dawson 50 really nice k3500 um maybe we 145 with the custom uh denali's a lowered xj by jay patat that is very interesting Ooh, flatbed duramax by off-road guy that looks legit Got an old school dent side and a bunch of other old school rigs by Brody. Loving the, uh, the setups. Parker Grog with his realistic Chevrolet. Joshua with the second gen and the Raptor. Bear Bro Tusca DJ with the Willys Jeep. If you guys want to take part in the Discord truck meets, by the way, hit that link that is pinned up at the top of the chat to jump on in there. Post your rigs in the Offered Outlaws channel in the Discord. And I will be... Oh, the second I go back in to actually, like, set up camp. Well... All right. I mean, I guess that's a forced rotation. It's fine. Um, ooh, if they add like, if they added like camber, that would be interesting. You could make Stancy boys. Oh, that's hilarious. Lolly D, what's up? Yo, TC, it's been a long time. Been a long time, dude. Great to see you out there. Mm. Bro, I came with a coffee supply today. Mm. Dude, I am all a freaking about it. Now, I'm really digging our 1794 edition right now, but I think it needs some different tires. Like, I like the tires that are on it right now, don't get me wrong, but, but, I kind of want to do something a little bit more on the gnarly side. I really do. Like, I, I, I kind of dig that. Like, I know there's a little bit less sidewall, but they make up for them in, or they make up for it in gigantic tread. Like, gigantic freaking tread. So, what's up, Kirith? I see you out there in the chat. By the way, you guys, if you're just joining us on the stream, have you seen this? This was recently announced by the Offered Outlaws developers in the official Offered Outlaws Facebook group. And it is, it looks to be a work in progress game called American Marksman with a bunch of new features that could hopefully migrate back over to Offered Outlaws later on down the road. Now, that would mean stuff like tents, campfires, um, maybe new placeable objects. Who knows? I mean, new visuals, maybe hunting dynamics to the game. We've also got switchable weaponry, like all sorts of things that would be amazing to see in Offered Outlaws. And that is why it has inspired me to do a camper theme today. But not only did it inspire me to do a camper theme, I'm about to go and build a new rig that I haven't really ever tried to build before. And I want to do something that is, you know, both on the realm of, like, realism, but also kind of in the, um, kind of in the, almost like the idea that you could see it out at, like, a campground or a trail or something. But even if you did, you'd still be like, oh, yeah, that's sick. I need one of those. 
Now, obviously, I've done it with a lot of different rigs at this point. I've done a lot of different builds. I've put a lot of a lot of development into the builds that I've done. But I'm thinking that I want to do something that doesn't really always get done, really, on the channel. So, there's a lot of trucks that don't always get touched. Like, for example, the new Ranger doesn't always get touched. Like, the new Raptor, I have a Raptor R, and it's, it's cool. But you know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to take a swing at doing my own realistic GMC. Because the last one of these I did after the update was a lowered drag truck. And I want to take inspiration from this and do try to basically go above and beyond what this truck is. Including like the chrome grill and bumper and all that stuff. So what we need to do right out of the gate is we need to do the full like built Duramax. We need to build everything out on the truck. The power, the grip, the durability. All that good stuff. And Raycrafts 2.0, what's up? I see you saying hi out there in the chat. But no, we're going to use that one that won the car show as sort of like a bit of inspiration. And then once we've got that inspiration and we've got, you know, kind of a baseline, then we're going to go over the top. We're going to take it to the extreme or at least we're going to try to. And Craig, I can definitely do that after the stream a little bit later on. But it's kind of hard to do that when I am uh, playing the game and watching the chat and also looking at the Offered Outlaws channel in the Discord. So before we do anything with the GMC graphics, I want to get our wheel and tire set up and our suspension set up. Kind of all, uh, all set up and nice and, you know, finished and squared away. All that good stuff. So... It's going to be realistic, so it's going to be uh, like a lifted IFS front end. And I realized just now I upgraded the wrong suspension type. Oof. All right. So it's going to be a heavy-duty, long-travel IFS in the front. And we need to be able to hop in other trucks by walking up to them. Uh, yeah, that or hop in our trucks by uh, by walking up to them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, bro, I didn't even pick red. Legit, like, I didn't even, like, decide that I wanted this thing to be red. Like, it literally was like, yeah, red is what you're getting. We haven't even done the paint job yet. Like, Lolly D, what's your question? And, um, America, what's up? I see you saying hi out there in the chat. Bill Battenberg, DC, when are you getting another XJ? I don't know. Uh, that'll definitely be an interesting one to figure out for sure. So let's build out that front and rear of the truck. And I want to kind of, uh... Kind of figure out a good starting point for this because we need to get the ride height sorted before we do anything else. So we're, we're going to bump it up a bit. And obviously it's not going to stay like that. So we'll bump that up just a tad bit and then add a hair of stiffness right there as well. Not too bad. Maybe lower that just a tiny bit. Tiny bit. I want it to be really, really level. You know, real nice and level. So let's get these out just a bit. I'm thinking about 0.3 should be close enough. Like, I I'm digging it. All right, damping now. We'll sort that out so it drives well. And another Chevy, no surprise. Well, I've never done a realistic, like, lifted GMC in Offered Outlaws. Like a lifted, you know, GMC Denali or something like that. We're really trying to be inspired by the one that won the, uh, the the car show, the truck show, and do one in a really realistic way. So now let's go over to the shock area and we'll dial in a set of really nice, uh, oh man, that's like double uh, independent reservoir, like freaking external bypass, like proper, you know, high-end stuff for real. Now... The rear is going to get some nice independent res shocks as well. Dial them up. And about a 1.6 in the back. It's no big deal. All right. Now, the wheels and tires are obviously going to need to be upgraded all the way so that we have full range of customization. And I think that it's worth it to kind of, you know, focus on the fact that this is a little bit more of like, not necessarily like a SEMA truck, but a little bit more of like something that's a little bit more lifted, you know, something a little bit more like you could see it and you would go, oh, wow, that's pretty clean. All right, so 1.2, we'll do 1.3. So what is the radius in the back? So 1.1 one, one and 1.3. One, 1.1 one, one and 1.3. One, that looks good. That looks right. 
Oh, bro. Okay, that looks really well put together. Um, and it looks balanced as well. Throw the perfect setup on it. So that's now done. And now the customization part of it starts. So let's see. Uh, Bryant Turner, I saw on, uh, on the YouTube show. Uh, wait. Originally gassed a GR Supra that was, I believe, a sequential gearbox and a hybrid turbo that was about 550 brake horsepower. That's wild. Time is out. What's up? And also, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Infinite Bob G with the 699 Super Chat. Thank you so much. Rate my camper 1 out of 10 on the Discord. Okay. Uh, let's. Oh, Infinite Gold easy. Right. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to guess it was the last camper that was posted. Uh oh, Infinite Bob G YT. Bro, that thing is like at least like a 9, 9.5 out of 10. That thing is proper, proper nice. Also, um, let's see. I'm seeing actually a bunch of other really nice rigs out there in the chat. Very nice Duramax replicas, Trackmaster, by the way. Those are really well done. All right, back to the Denali build now. We'll dial in the gears a little bit later, and I'm going to look at this one for a little bit of that inspiration. So... So he chromed out the bumper, he chromed out the grill, and then he did GMC in a little bit of like a weathered font. I don't know if I'm going to do the GMC logo in that font, but I'm going to do something similar. So, all right, Dawson 5 we'll see what we get back. Thank you for hanging out while you could. Um, let's see, put some stacks on it. Oh, don't worry, the stacks are absolutely coming. Now, let's see. Oh, all right, I need to find my, well, hold on, hold on patterns, stripes, shapes. How do I do a, like a chrome setup? I mean, ooh, that's, that's really tough. Is it just like turn the sun on or, hmm, I know how I could do the grill. The grill is going to be easy. So, all you got to do for that is you got to get everything all like, up and around the corners right here. And then from there, it's a duplication game. So once it becomes a duplication game, then it gets a little easier. So let's see. This is good to go. Oh, God. I was like, this is good to go right here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Now, that is almost good. And then I should be able to kind of fix that little corner bit in just a moment. Why are you freaking out so much? Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, all I got to do is follow through. Wait, you ignored my Duramax Silverado. Wait, what? What do you mean? What do you mean I ignored your Duramax Silverado? Bruh, I didn't ignore it. I, I don't ignore any of the trucks of the server. I'm going to go back in there very, very soon to um to actually get it uh, to actually get everything looked at. Yeah, don't worry. We've been going to there a lot. Um let's see. Try using lines. I like the lines, but like they don't always do what I want them to do if that makes sense. So, as you can see though, having these here makes it really simple to get the entire grill like all painted. And then once you get the grill painted up, then you can go in and handle like these little corner bits. So the grill is now chromed, which that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. That was really easy. There's just a tiny little bit of uh, cleanup to do. Um, is the new game going to have trucks? Honestly, I don't know yet because literally all we know is this right here. The developers put this out in the chat and this is literally, or not in the chat, but uh, they put it out on Facebook and this is all we have on the new game right now. Now, obviously, it seems like it's going to be called American Marksman. That's not, like, fully confirmed yet, but that is what the photo says. And we got tents. We got campfires. We've got, like, switchable weaponry. All these gorgeous environments. It looks like it's going to be, like, a hunting-focused game. But I really hope that a lot of these elements migrate their way back into Offered Outlaws. I think that would be super cool to see. So as we jump back into the GMC build, let me swap out to, like, a nicer set of wheels because I'm gonna need a nicer set of wheels like I'm sorry but man the wheels that I had on it before just did not make me very excited about the truck um and I'm gonna also get a, a, another set of yeah there we go 
There we go. See, that's looking so much better already. And we're not even getting started yet. Check out the RAM I posted in the Discord. Um, I'm actually about to check that. Let's see, real quick. Um, wow. It's a massive monster cat eye by uh, Mayberry Kid. We got the USA a monster truck a dent side by uh, Joshua W. Brody was good. Loving that thing out there. All right, let's see. Big Donkey, and also we got Brody with the side by side. Very nice rigs that I'm seeing out there in the uh, or in the Discord. Got that second gen, absolutely rolling it. If you guys want to throw your vehicles out there in the Discord server, make sure you use the link that is pinned up at the top of the chat. Now let's go back out here real quick, and we'll throw a GMC logo on the front of the truck. Here we go, and I'm gonna make it like. Ooh, should I make it red? Well, I don't know if the truck is going to stay red, though. So, for the moment, for the moment, the GMC logo is going to be blacked out. And I don't even think that looks that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that actually looks pretty good. And it's not necessarily like, you know, it's honestly not like... A, it doesn't ruin the look of the truck at all. It looks, it looks fine. It looks great, actually, to me. To me. Rebel Man, what's going on? I see you out there in the chat. And Stranger Things fan checking in. Thank you so much. Yawn Van and Ebert, what's up? And Jonas, I see you checking in out there as well. Y'all are creeping up on that 300 likes mark on the stream already. Thank you so much. Blowing through that 250 likes mark. Bigger? How does it... Well, maybe only a tiny little bit bigger. Because if it gets too much bigger, it's going to be a little oofed. But that looks good for now. That looks good for now. Um, Ashton and Mark, uh, TZ, can you check out some of my old rigs? Uh... Look through, I'm under, uh, oh, so this is Diablo. All right, I'll, I gotta check that out in, uh, just a couple of minutes, okay? Try using gray. So, like, but the, the truck itself is already gray. I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I, wait a second. No, that doesn't look good. Yeah, I was like, uh, I'll try a couple different fonts, and I was like, mm, that doesn't look that great. All right, we'll let that be for now. Now I've got to get back. I've got to save this. Then I've got to get a color all sorted out for it, okay? So let's see. Um, Try using gray. Once again, I tried that, but um, it doesn't fit it at all. I got you, TP64. I got you. I got you. Way to get to start another lobby. Well, we were doing lobbies for a, a while there, um, and we're going to be jumping back into some open ones very, very shortly, okay? You should try to make Seaboys TV's uh, SEMA truck. That would be really cool. That would definitely be a fun build. All right, so gloss paint. I definitely want it to be glossy, um, but let's see in what, like, kind of what realm of colors we could go for. I like the blue. Um, I like the blue. The blue is really nice, but I'm still debating on if that's the route I want to go with the truck, you know? Um, we could do yellow. I, like, never have any yellow trucks, but I feel like it's really hard to make the yellows look right. The burnt orange is pretty... Oh, no! Ban, ban. I got him. I got him. I got him. Don't worry. Bot is banned. Bot is banned. I got him. They're gone. Don't worry. But, yeah, what do you guys think? Can you try my favorite color? Pink? Well, I mean... Diesel isn't here right now, so, uh, I mean, that's how it would, that's how it would come out. I don't know if it would, like, I mean, it actually, you know what? It doesn't look, wait a minute. I feel like we could do a purple and it actually wouldn't look bad. Like, legit, it, it legitimately wouldn't look bad. I mean, what about if I black it out? I, I could black it out and it would look, it would look good, but I feel like I'd be kind of essentially, like, ripping off the one that, like, won the car show. I don't kind of want to do that, so... I mean, it's one of those things. And, uh, Emmanuel, I, I, I get it. I get it. Do pink, LOL. I think that the dark blue is going to be the way. I think, like, the deep blue is going to be the way with this thing. I mean, purplish black? Ooh. Ooh. So, like, a really, really, really dark purple? Like that? I mean, you know, I'm not going to lie. That could definitely... That could definitely work. I would have to find a happy medium for it, you know? I also want to see it out in the light. I mean, it's different. I definitely don't have any trucks that are that kind of a color. And it definitely looks very... It's like a plum color. Yeah, Bear Bro, you're actually really, uh, really, like, right on with that. I've done light blue before. Um, oh, David Robertson, what's up, dude? I see you checking it out there. Um... 
Let's see. Can you try white? I think we're on to something with the really deep purple. I really think we are. I mean, unless there's like, you know, a lot of people that are like, no, 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 no. But like, I'm requesting you to make a roll of TP, please. I don't know if I'm going to do that on this one. I don't know if I'm going to do it today, but we'll definitely do it on one of these streams because you've been asking for it for a while. Add tint. Ooh, I need to. Dude. Yeet. Oh my God. It is like limo tinted out absolutely limo tinted out let me make that just a tiny bit brighter and i wonder all right so that's good to go now if i go back in here i want to add just a couple little bits and pieces to the body of the truck itself please don't crash okay the game was freaking out there for a minute i was like Please don't do what I think you're about to do, because if you do what I think you're about to do, I'm going to be very, very, very sad. Oh, very, very, very sad. We could do a single hood stack. We could do duels. We could do the central bed stack. Um, Let's see. Can we try sea green? Maybe a little bit later. We'll have to see. Um, We could also do a large single exhaust tip, which I also really like. I think the single exhaust tip fits the truck really nicely and keeps it a really clean look. But let me ask you guys, because you guys are going to be a big part of that. All right, exhaust option. Let's see, bed stack or uh, exhaust tip? Bed stack or exhaust tip? I'm dropping a poll. You guys can vote on either way. Um, either way that you want that to go, you guys are in control of that option of the build. You guys are in 100% control of that. Let's see, imagine if you summon Diesel with that purple truck. He'd be like, no, no. Let's see. Bedstack is currently winning. Oh, man, yeah. Bedstack is actually winning that poll. There's some votes for exhaust tip, though. I mean, I definitely like the exhaust tip. I personally prefer the exhaust tip, but... Dude, there's a lot of people going for the bed stack option. Yeah, that's... Wow, bed stack is really beating it out. All right. I mean, hey, bed stack it is then. Bed stack is the way. I feel like the new game is going to be like Offered Outlaws after this new game comes out. Offered Outlaws will probably... Oh, you think it'll be like the follow-up to it? I mean, I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see. It seems very... I don't think they would do that. I really don't think they would do that, but... That is entirely up to them as the developers, but hey, I definitely think that um, the bed stack definitely uh, beat the, you know, beat the exhaust tip out for the uh, for the options for sure. Now let's see. Ooh, I mean, I like those lights, but I think I'm gonna stick with the white HIDs. We'll throw the rack in the back. We'll throw the re repair pack. Yeah, repair pack in the bed. And all right. We haven't done any vinyl work on this thing yet, apart from the chromed out grill, and it is already looking incredible. Now, at the end of this, I mean, should I submit it to the car show? I mean, would that be cool? I don't know. Like, I think that'd be neat. I've never done that before. All right, so back into the decals now. So this is where things are going to get really interesting because we've got to design a lot of elements on this truck. We've got to do a, um, let's see, we've got to do a bed handle, um, like a tailgate handle. And I think that that's just going to be, that's going to be super easy. I'm going to make it out of like, you know, these like rounded off squares. And then TP64, check the Discord, LOL. Don't worry, I'll be checking it very soon. All right, I'm going to do probably like three of these. For the handle, and I'll duplicate it, and let's see, well, I'm gonna have to move it, yeah, that's gonna have to move over this way just a little bit, it seems fairly, like, non-centered, you know what I mean, um, and then one of them is, like, higher than the other ones, it is not symmetrical, it is not symmetrical at all, but, um, that is, that's clo- oh god, close there it is i mean it's uh, it's it's yeah i i don't know i don't know it's still too far to the left all right hold on i'm going to the right with it this is the annoying part of doing uh like doing little setups like this because oh it's so easy to think that like that you're centered the way you need to be, and then the game is like, hey, dummy, you're not centered. That's as centered as I'm going to get it. That's as centered as I'm going to get it. That's it. That's there. 
Uh, let's see. Misty, what's up? I see you saying hi out there in the chat. Move to, uh, to the right a little and it looks good. Joe Smith, what's going on, dude? I see you checking it out there in the chat. My Wi Fi is slow. All right, I'll see you when you get back, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out while you could. Back bumper crump. Why does everybody keep saying mirror it? Oh my God. Uh, hold on. Oh, I know why. I'm a dummy because it's on the back bumper and it would flip and it would. Yeah. Big brain. All right. Let's see, Alexis LeClaire with the 609 Super Chat. Thank you so much. I remember OG times when offered outlaws. This game is getting is getting old. Hey, you know what, though? Dude, they're, they're actually, like, they keep updating it to the point where they are keeping it current. And not only that, but Joe Smith is like, what is the update? Well, the update is basically they are working on a brand new game called American Marksman. At least that's the working title. And they released this screenshot of it on their Facebook page, their official Offered Outlaws Facebook page. And so if they're sharing the development of this game with Offered Outlaws... It would stand to reason that just like stuff has come over from No Limit Drag Racing into Offered Outlaws, then stuff could come over from this game into Offered Outlaws as well. And I would love to see that happen. Like the campfire, the camping, the switchable weaponry, like the beautiful maps, maybe even hunting dynamics to the game. All sorts of stuff like that would be right at home in Offered Outlaws. So let me go ahead and save all those decals because they need to be. I mean, that is not even non-negotiable. Now, let's see. Oh, thank you, Mark. I really appreciate it. Now, I'm thinking that our next step with this GMC is going to be, let me see what they, um, let me see what they did on the one down here in the car show because, or the one that won the car show because they've got the middle right there. Oh, they've got these little, like, these little, like, black, like, stripes right there. So, they did GMC and they did, like, a license plate and everything. I'm not going to go that far, but what I am going to do, because they even chromed out the bumper too. I'm not going to chrome the bumper, but I will do the cab lights. The cab lights are the stuff. I mean, okay, well, uh, I've got a light bar up there though. I don't know. Bot, 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 band. Yep. Bot, band. Thank you guys. We got them. We got them. All right, back into the build. So, let me see. Yo, I just had an incredible idea. What if we do grill-mounted light bars? Holy smokes. Now, if we did grill-mounted light bars, this would be... That, that would be, like, something I've legitimately never even done before. Hold on. So you're going to go down, and what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to make, like, almost a bit of a glow, right? So we'll put you right there, we'll black that out, and then we'll duplicate it, and we'll make it, like, have a just a tiny little bit of color to it. So it looks like a light. So it looks like it's lighting up. And then we'll put it inside the other stripe. Don't know if the, how this is going to look. But, I mean, you know? I'm pretty okay with that. And then now we could just move it over here. Oh, do, okay. I'm I'm proud of myself for that one. I mean... Normally, I don't sit here and say, like, oh, I'm proud of myself for that, but I'm proud of myself for that. I didn't even think that I was going to come up with that, but now sitting here looking at it, I'm like, that's sick. I am, wow, we've got grill-mounted light bars. I'm saving that. We've got grill-mounted light bars. Oh, wow, mirror it. Yeah, I know, right? Um, is that the stripe for the tailgate? Let's see. How do you get into the car show? Uh, wait, don't move it. Just flip it. Both sides will be identical. I know I need to, I, I, I need to keep like, you know, hitting myself over the head and telling myself to not be a dummy and do that. But that looks so good. They have a front light. There's an actual light. I know, but it looks like crap. <laughs> like it's not that it looks bad. It just doesn't look the way I want it to look on the truck. So now I'm going to do the side decals for, let's see, Duramax and Allison. So let's see. Why am I? Whoa. Why is that upside down? That shouldn't be upside down like that. Uh, you're 
fine, I guess. All right, so let's see. Color-wise, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And it'll be almost like a ghost vinyl. You know what I mean? What is up, Jenna Hales? I see you checking it out there in the chat. What's up, Mason, as well? Thank you for stopping by. And let's see. Uh, that would be wild, exotic, idi or idi idiotic, exotic, for sure. All right, so that's good, right? Ooh. Yeah, that's kind of like a ghost vinyl. I love that. Oh, I love that so much. All right, so that's good there. And let me go underneath that with a kind of ghost red for the transmission. So, wait, hold on. Let me just make sure. Let me just make sure. Okay, hold on. I, wow, I'm a dummy. I spelled it wrong. Hold on. There we go. And it's a little small, but it'll work. It's a little small, but it'll work. This is so much, by the way, in terms of like, I haven't done this much detail on vinyls in a very long time. Like this is, this is more detail on vinyls than I'm used to doing. But you know, I'm actually not mad about it because it's really fun. It's really fun and it's really engaging. All right, so let me get you all situated. Boom. <laughs> this is turning out, dude. Chicken of Doom is like, is like scrumptious. Mr. Beast, uh, oh God. Um, is, TC, is this confirmed? Um, so the game um, that we are talking about, yes, it was shared by the official Off-Road Outlaws developers. They put this screenshot out there on their official Facebook page. And I mean, that means that everything about this has to be confirmed. You know, if the official Off-Road Outlaws developers shared it, then it's absolutely coming. Now, whether it's going to come as its own game or if it's going to be a part of an Off-Road Outlaws update as well, that remains to be seen. But I got to tell you, this, I mean, since the official developers released this information, it's got to be accurate, right? Like, it's got to be freaking real. Now, let's see if we can do, oh, I want to do a license plate. This, like, actually has has me wanting to do a license plate now. So, if I'm going to do a license plate, let's put you right here. And I'm going to make it kind of a nice little gray. And I'm going to make it a custom plate, too. I'm going to put, like, my own text in it. Oh, it's going to be awesome. This is going to be so good. All right, so let's see. Do a nice, like, gray right about there. And that is like, that's perfect. So if I just mirror it, there we go. And then, uh, let's see, duplicate and then, oh, yes, perfect. Oh, I didn't mean to change the size. No. Boom. Done. Oh, that's awesome. Why didn't I do that earlier? You guys are geniuses. You guys are absolute geniuses. Okay, so the license plate works amazingly. Now, now, here's what I'm going to do also. Put GMC on the back. We're about to. TZ, what is a bot? Oh, it's literally like a random, like, bot account that's, like, trying to, you know, trying to, like, mess something up. But let's see. We got a sick look at Willie's Jeep. RS and Customs dropping that photo of his, uh... Let's see, his second gen on Matt Tracks with one of my Tundras, my long travel Tundra. Invita to PUBG, uh, let's see, Chats said it, I did it, Seaboys TV build. That looks legit, bro. Clark Boy, loving the camper. That looks really, really good. Oh, God. Um, you did this, oh, my God. You did the Seaboys TV, like, Ranger towing the freaking Super Duty. What is that? Oh, that's, a, that's hilarious, though. Now, let's see. So, for the license plate... How do I want to use the text on that? Because I want it to be readable-ish. And, oh yeah, that's that's readable. So, for license plates, I know, like, to make it visible, let's do, like, a blue. Like, blue text or something like that. And then, let's see, TC9700, just for the license plate. And, oh my god. Dude, I can't believe this is coming out so well. With a legitimate, like, I, I am saving every single vinyl at this point. 
Wait, you were three images off from my Duramax. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Also, loving that massive lifted Cuda with the uh, freaking uh, camper behind it, Phoenix. That looks amazing. Also, we got Beast with the uh, the first gen build. Hold on. Treadhawk. I'm digging that. And uh, Damien. Oh, my God. ADD Off-Road Raptor R and TRD Pro Tundra. Beautiful. Gage, I love that matching uh, Camper and Tundra and TB64 with the realistic, uh, the realistic Silverado, and also loving uh, TTP Dubs is uh, really nice, like very, very, very lifted um, build right there. That looks really nice. I'm loving the work on all the colors too. Okay, so we're getting really close on this truck now, really close. Now on the back, we're gonna do GMC once again. In that kind of, uh, kind of like almost, um, almost black, but like really dark gray that we did on the front. We'll get it all nice and lined up. Bring it down. That's about the right size. That's right there in the middle. Okay. Now, now down here in the corner, we're going to do Duramax down here on the corner in black. So let's see. That's good to go. And yes, dude. I am I am about this. Like it is so good. All right, 2500 HD. Perfect. Holy crap. Holy crap. This is when I say this is coming together, this is coming together on a level that I didn't even expect it to. <gasps> Dude, dude. Well, actually, I think I like that one better for 2500 HD. It looks a little bit more realistic. Yo, I mean, this is the stuff right here. This has so many vinyl layers. What's up, Parker? I see you out there checking into the chat. Oh, man, I've been on the live stream since it started. Heck yeah, dude. We're actually about to jump back out into some... um some open lobbies, so if you want to hang around for that, feel free, and thank you, the Idiotic Exotic, I really appreciate you there, Mike and Tom, we'll see you when you get back, y'all are about to blow to that 300 likes mark on the stream already as well, thank you so much, okay, so now, I mean, it is just right around the corner from done, literally right around the corner from done, so, custom text, we just gotta do the TC customs down there on the bottom, and I'm going to do that in, like, probably ghost letters again, because that way it can be just a little bit on the stealth side. Little bit on the stealth side. Nice, like, gray kind of ghost letter looking deal. I'll bring you back down and kind of ease it up. There we go. TC Customs looks good to me. Look how many custom vinyls we have here. It is, it is a like ungodly amount of custom vinyls and we're not even like oh wow bro with the like the grill mounted light bars and i want to do another light bar i want to do another light bar in the bottom of the uh, in the bottom of the front bumper i'm like addicted to adding these light bars now all right so stripes one right there Take it off of that and then size it down. We're going to do the same kind of idea that we did with the other light bar. But here's what we're going to do to make it longer. So put it here. And then we're going to miniaturize it a little bit more. And then we're going to mirror it. Oh, that's that's perfection, dude. Like that that's That's so like perfection right there. Okay, so is that close enough to the middle that's perfect okay so let me change the color of it now that layer is going to be blacked out and then this is going to get uh it's going to get duplicated and then we're going to use that same kind of very light like ooh, how do i find that again that's going to be a tricky color to find isn't it um oh that's going to be really tricky i underestimated how tricky that would be well, it's close-ish. Ish. I mean, oh, I almost had it. It's close enough. Um, and separate it a little. Uh, it's getting weird on me. 
It's getting weird on me. Um, it's, I don't know if I like it. It didn't turn out as good as I thought. Oh, man. It didn't turn out as good as I thought. Oh, well. So we got the light bar down there in the bottom, and then we've got the other two light bars up there in the dash. I mean, it's built as a show truck, so it's not that big of a deal, but man, do circles for the lights. That's, you know what? I could do that. I could do that. Um, wait, hold on. Question mark, what, and then hi. What's up, dude? Um, TTP dubs, but that truck is your old power stroke. I went to, uh, the build video. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. I had computer meter, damn it. Oh, no. Do 2500 HD on the side. Oh, that'd be sick. That looks clean, TC. I tried with that center light bar, and I like it, but I'm also back and forth about it. Yo, we got a bunch of new rigs out there in the Discord. Seeing uh, TM with some gigantic custom rigs. Super wide, super tall. Um, we got, let's see... Um, what is that? I don't even know how to pronounce your name. He's got like a Camaro. It looks like it's about to have like a like a tug of war against a freaking third gen. Got a uh, Bryson 21 with the El Camino pulling a camper. Loving it. And DX Joe. I, oh, I dig the Duramax, bro. That looks sick. Let's see. I don't know where that is coming from, the Chicken of Doom. I really don't. Um, the Duramax is the only truck I've reached the max decals. I'm not a member. I got you. I got you. I got you. I have a surprise for you when you make a lobby. Oh, dear. Wait, I realized I forgot to do the axle colors. So what I may do is how would, how would this look? Just a little bit more on the, I mean, dude, I didn't even have to do any work on that at all. I mean, that's just like... That's just, like, freaking solid. Man, I'm... God, the light bar's in the grill, the light bar on the bumper, which I... It's crooked, I need to fix it, but... Oh, the ghost letters, it's... I mean, it's like, this thing is done deal. This is absolutely, like, done deal. So if I look in the car show, what happens if I, like... How do you even submit it? I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. Anybody that knows how to, like, tow the camper with the Duramax, I want to. I really want to. I don't know about the purple, though. How would it look in a slightly different color? I know that the purple is, like, the route that I want to go, but I'm willing to try a couple different colors. I mean, I'm... The red, I don't know if I want to go for it. The blue looks good. The blue looks really good, but I mean, I know you guys might think this is kind of odd, but I think the purple works. I know that might seem weird, but I think the purple works. Let me give it a little bit more. It's like a very like, it's like a plum purple. And I know that I like one of the biggest things that I set out to do with this truck was to do something that I like do something different, do something that I never do. And that is a color that I never use. So I'm actually going to go into a fully public lobby and I'm going to see what people show up with because I have no idea. Like, I'm legitimately about to go into a completely open, completely public lobby. No idea what I'm going to run into. Uh, Alex says, why is it purple? And I'm like, well, um, it's purple because... I was challenged to do a build in a color that was totally different from anything I normally ever use and still try to make it look good, and that Duramax is the product of that. Oh, man. Shoo, dude. Um, Submit for, wait until 23.59, and then submit for 250 gold. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. Yep, no worries there. I wonder how these how these dudes are going to feel when we, like, just bump into them in their lobby. All right, so I need to... Oh, God. Drop hitch. Down, 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 down. Oh, that's not too bad. 22. Yeah, that's better than... That's better than some of the ones I've done in the past. All right. So, let's see. Hello there. You may or may not be on the stream right now. Or, or you might not be. You'll have to find out. 
XD for good measure. All right, so let's see what happens when we set off here. Um, oh, God. I have a feeling that this session is going to get, like, there's going to be a lot that goes on in this session. Like, I feel like a lot of people are going to be a lot of, like, in, out, in, out, in, out. Oh, what's up, Gleet? Re, I have arrived. Colton, what's up? I see you saying hi and checking in with us. Oh, boy. DBL Gaming has joined. Dude, already a bunch of... Oh, my God, a bird? Are you kidding me? I never see them anymore. Holy smokes. Stop in your tracks. Well, you don't really have any tracks because you're a bird, but still. I have literally hit you so many times and you won't... Oh, my God. It's because I'm not... Cl oh, it... Oh, my God. Is it up over the... It's... It's on the edge, isn't it? Oh, it's up on the cliff. At the very least, at least I saw one and I got one. What's up, David Erst? A stop in your wings. Yeah, exactly. I love how we have a real license plate on the truck. That's that's one of the coolest parts. It's a shame the, the hitch sticks right through it. Dude, y'all are about to blow through that 300 likes mark on the stream. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Not only are we building campers and realistic trucks, but we're also talking about the brand new announcement from the Offered Outlaws developers about the, the game called American Marksman, which looks like it could potentially be either a brand new game altogether or maybe even pieces of it could make their way into Offered Outlaws later on down the road as well. Super exciting stuff. Take a close look at that screenshot because there is a lot to learn from it. And we've been diving into it a lot, like, earlier on in the stream. And we're going to go back into it later. But currently we're in a completely public, completely open lobby that you guys can find by going to your multiplayer tab if you want to jump in here. Now, obviously, sometimes th there are crashes involved with that. But how is this thing so fast? How and why? Like, legit? Look how fast this is. Why is this so fast with a trailer? I didn't think this was possible. I haven't touched the gearing. I'm going like 80 miles an hour with a trailer behind me. That is not okay. Bro. Oh my... Oh, you crashed on me. All right, I'm going right back into that map. I'm not letting that one go. That was that was too crazy to let it go. How do we chat on Discord, TC? All you got to do is join it via the link up at the top of the chat, and then you got to agree to the rules, and then you can post in the Offered Outlaws channel in the Discord server, which, speaking of that, I'm going back in there right now. I'm seeing Broken Toaster's camping setup looking sick. I'm also seeing TTP Dubs' is new, uh, looks like a new camper build. Very interesting uh, flatbed uh, green second gen, loving it. Farmer Jackson, very color-coordinated there, loving that setup you got going on. Very, very well put together. And also, let's see. So now that we've jumped back into it, I'm also going to hit up multiplayer once again. Free Roam, custom maps, wide open, role play. Twin Rivers Lake, one man wolf pack, no code, completely open lobby. Join as you can. Parker and Rop and Gaming with Jaden 2. Welcome back, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping back by. But as we load back into the game, get your rigs ready. Let's see, what's the Discord? The Discord, uh, Caleb Johnson, it is in the pinned message at the top of the chat. Um, TZ, can you turn off slow mode on the chat? Uh, if I do that in the Discord or even in, like, you know, the YouTube chat, the spam goes correct. Crazy. So, pull behinds are very light. That's why you were going faster. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, Dane, I'm banned from the Discord. Well, if you're banned from the Discord, then, I mean... I'm sure that there was a reason for that. Um, if you were banned and you feel as though you were banned in error, uh, we could look into that if you uh, if you would like. However, um, I do trust my moderation team, and when there is a ban, there is there is always a reason for it. So, if you were banned from the server, I'm sure there was a reason for that. But again, if you feel as though you were banned in error, please do let us know, and we can look into that. Now, let's see. Mitch Limo, what's up? Jacob Wood, I see you checking it out there in the chat. Noah, welcome back. I see you saying hi with, uh, hi to us out there. Amanda Dates, what is the code? Uh, there is no code. This is like a fully open, just open lobby outer on Twin Rivers Lake. Like, you can jump in and, like, literally jump in straight from the multiplayer menu. Like, it is open to you. Open to you as long as it's not, like, completely full. But, you know, go for it absolutely go for it that's a nice truck thank you so much i tried to go a little bit out of my norm in terms of the trucks i usually build and i'm really happy with how it came out all right let's find a good old campground wait but i can't ask question huh what do you mean uh mr gamer what are you talking about you can't ask your question what's your question i'm always down for you to ask questions 
Like, literally, I'm down to answer literally whatever I can. Um, is there a meet? I mean, legit, like, have you already talked about uh, the update? So, here's what we're talking about in regards to an update. So, this right here was announced very recently by the Offered Outlaws developers. It was shared on their official Facebook page, so it's all legit. And it is a, looks like a new game they're working on called American Marksman. However, I would love to see all these features that we see on screen get brought over to Offered Outlaws, like the switchable weaponry and the tents and the campfires and all of that good stuff, and also potentially even some hunting gameplay as well. So I would love to see all of that stuff come to Offered Outlaws as soon as it can, but I understand that there's also a development cycle to that, so we'll have to wait and see what other information we get from the Offered Outlaws developers as we get closer to that. So... Please just make a lobby so I can show you my surprise. Well, here's the thing with that. You might get, like, you know, someone might get in the lobby quicker than you. So, let's see. Register with no wait. LOL. Uh, idiotic exotic. That's great. Is there a car in the trailer? There is a special surprise in the trailer. There's a surprise if you, uh, if you get what I mean. How do you post on Discord? All you gotta do is agree to the rules, and then once you do that, you have uh, free reign to post, of course, within the rules in the Offered Outlaws channel in the Discord. Um, that is how you can take part in the virtual truck meet. Let's see. Uh, TC, it's me, Jacob Wood. Let's see. Hello there. This is like, I just become my reply. It's great. Like, I love how hello there is just like, it's the reply. All right, we're going to head on up to that campground right on down the road. And then once we get there, I want to say that, whoa, God, this thing's like, it's a little porpoisey. I'm not going to lie. It's a little all over the, well, I say it's a little all over the place. It's actually not too bad. It's really not bad at all. But I love how TC Customs has now expanded the business into TC Camping. It's freaking great. But I don't know how to post a picture. Oh, yeah, you just click the little, um, the little attachment icon, and then it, then Discord will walk you through the steps to post a picture. Mm-hmm. I, whoa. Let me at least into the campground before you crash again, freaking off-road outlaws. That's the only thing that I wish, like, was a little bit different. It's like, now, granted, I know I'm running on blue stacks, which I'm sure has something to do with the crashiness, but... Let's see. Uh, we'll go down here to the low section by the river. Oh, dude. Check out the campsites. Oh, this is amazing. All right. Let's go in and get this thing all parked up. Oh, dear. Oh, I thought when the game had a hiccup there, I thought it was going to freeze. I thought it was going to be absolute freezage on me. TC, you ignore my questions. Wait, what? Mr. Gamer. Um, please, like, reiterate your question. Uh, don't spam it, but let me know what your question is out there in the chat, and I will try my hardest to go and find it, okay? Please do let me know, Mr. Gamer. Let's back it up, and boom! Oh, bro, I'm so happy about this. Yo! We got the camper all set and chilling out here at the campground. This is like... Wait, let's see. Uh, Jesus, this is my question. I just sort of... Oh, oh, um, Mr. Gamer, we don't allow any, um, any, like, external channel links, um, in the, uh, in the chat, just so you know. Um, it's just part of a chat policy, but, um, I, I, I gotcha, gotcha, I, I, I did see what you were trying to, uh, what you were trying to post now, yeah. Um, let me flex out on the picnic table real quick. Yes, yes, there we go. I mean... He may be a little bit of a show truck, a show boy, if you will, but... Oh, come on! I feel like that was... Oh, man. I didn't even get to see anybody yet before the game oofed itself on that one. Can you do a map code? I think that might be what I'll do uh, in a little bit because these, like, um, just random lobby servers can get a little bit... Um, weird as time goes on. Uh, Brett and Garrett's, um, is there an update to Offered Outlaws? So the developers of Offered Outlaws dropped on their official Facebook page that there was a new game in development called, um, American Marksman, and that is just a, a working title. It could change uh, a little bit later on down the road, but do keep in mind that since it is being developed by what looks to be the same development team, I would venture a guess that we may see a lot of the features in this game that we see right here on screen coming to Offered Outlaws in a future Offered Outlaws update. So I would would love to see that and I'm definitely hoping that that's what happens but um, I'm going to keep you guys as informed as humanly possible and with that being said we're going to jump right back into Offered Outlaws and see where we can go next and by the way this Tundra may need a little bit of work but going back into the Duramax for the moment because 
I am going to actually do a, I might do a little bit of a code, uh, like backyard truck meet this time. The backyard truck meets are always a freaking blast. You left on accident. Oh no. Wait, is that really you messaging me about the, uh, bruh, that is not me. That sounds like, uh, Jack, that sounds like a good old scam. I, that, that would absolutely not be me. Um, so some slight confusing developments. I don't remember applying. Wait, wait, I was paused if I was. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, I needed context. Uh, Emmanuel, um, I, I, I legitimately needed context. I was just like, I was completely like, you know, brain was out to lunch. Um, that's wild though. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's legit. All right. Let's see. Um, TC, no good way, and I gotta go. Uh, definitely do, like, the daily, um, like, gold challenges and stuff like that. Those actually help a lot more than you might think. So, also, let's see. Should I start doing Offered Outlaw stuff? Hey, if you want to, Z-Dubs, absolutely. All right. Um, wait, Travis, TC, why are you ignoring my question? Please, what is your question, Travis? Um, repost it out there in the chat because I haven't seen any, um, any questions from you. So, let me actually go over to my backyard, and that way we'll have a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a base of operations from which to continue on from. I love how, like, fast you can tow the pull-behinds. They are hilarious. Is this game on mobile? Oh, God, yeah. It's a mobile game. Of course it is. Oh, 100%. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see. Travis, I'm still not seeing your... Um, I'm still not seeing your question. Please repost it if you are hearing... Uh, if you're hearing what uh, what I'm saying right now, America, my backyard, he says. Yes, the one in the neighborhood. What did you think I was talking about there, bud? I don't know where that accent came from, but oof. All right, let's get you all turned around. Let's see, this actually allows me a really nice little uh, storage area for my camper. This is perfect. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. Dude! Oh, that's perfect. So good. Let's back it up, back it up, back it up. Come on. And detach the trailer. Now, I'm gonna get this guy up in the garage. We'll get him up on the lift. I love that triple light bar setup up front. It looks so good. So good. Boop. And it's on the lift. And I'm on the roof of my garage. And now, all of a sudden, the code is visible. Yes, it is. Let's see. Stop turning into a New York Canadian mix, TC. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Stop it. Let's see. Wait. I was banned from your server via a bot saying I was posting in several categories. I don't know... Um, what, why that would have been, but it sounds like, um, like, it sounds like you were posting a lot, and maybe really fast, like a, um, please unban me, I was not at fault, it banned me for something I wasn't doing, um, would you mean, like, so, it, were you posting really fast, because it could have gotten you for spam, um, that could have been why. I'm not saying you were spamming. I'm just saying it could have interpreted, um, like, if you posted in a lot of different channels, like, back to back to back really fast, it could have been like, that's spam. Oh, it's TB64 with the TB64 Mobile um, freaking realistic Chevy and his camper. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving that setup. TNJ Productions, what's up, dude? I'm sure this is already, like, wow, he, like, he came out here at absolute Mach 10. Freaking Mach 10. Dude was like, meh. Mm. I dig his camper, though. The window setup is really nifty. Um, it's interesting to see his approach to windows versus my approach to windows. Um, I like how he's got... Yo, what's up, Mr. Nut? I see you out there in the chat. No, I wasn't. I was just talking normally. Okay, well, what we could do is, um, I could see if I can, is your Discord name, uh, just, like, literally your YouTube name? Because I can look it up, and I can go back and check and see what, I, like, you know, what actually went down, what was posted, and if I, you know, if it doesn't look like, if it looks like it was an error, we can see if we can do something about it, um, but, um, just let me know out there in the chat what your Discord username was, 
Um, the same image, different channels. You get a timeout. I think it's three times out. It's a ban. God, yeah. See, now, if you were posing a bunch of stuff over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, then that's, that's one thing. But, yo, look at this thing. A Ram 3500 dually with the Yoder on the trailer. That's awesome. I love how everybody showed up with the pull behinds. Pull behind squad, dude. Like, absolute pull behind trailer squadron. Oh, I need some photos. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. Oh, hello. Hold on. Let me get out of my garage. Good. It, yeah? Hold on. Let me out. Let me out. Come on. Seems a bit aggressive, doesn't it, But All right, hold on. Let me just ease around here. There's a lot of pew pewage going on. Is that Diesel Monkey, like, just continuously? Like, really? Why, dude? Literally, like, why? All right, attached trailer. I am going to get a couple of photos, though, because these guys, bruh, I am literally being, like, Bro, my truck is being held up right now. Like, what are you guys even doing? What the heck are you guys even doing? Oh, that's grand. All right. I am about to go back into the Discord server and rate and look at some more of the trucks because I really want to check them out. Um, TZ, how do I agree to the rules? Uh, there should be a uh, very straightforward process on the server that can walk you through um, how to chat and how to agree to the rules. Um, let's see, what's in the trailer? There is a, uh, there is a three-wheeled yeet machine in there. Um, let's see, uh, give or take, it's off-roader 6127. All right, uh, hold on. Hold on real quick. All right, so let me actually look for that, and I'll see if it was a, uh, I'll, I'll check and see. Because if you're, like, adamant that it was, you know, not a, uh, let's see. Hold on. Let's check. Uh, do, come on, oh, uh, hold on. Posting same thing in multiple chat. Yeah, I see the, I see the issues. Yeah, um, yeah, multiple channels, multiple channels, uh, Let's see, invite link to other servers, and then same. Yeah, so I looked into it. Oh, by the way, Thunder and Ted, those, dude, those builds look sick. So, um, so yeah, I looked into that ban, and you, um, oh my god, Diesel Monkey. Diesel Monkey, do you have, like, bruh, are, are you, are, why? Literally, why? All right, we're gonna do a quick rotation here. Because I need to, first of all, I need to work on a couple of trucks. And also, we need to talk about, so the dude that was asking to get unbanned, I think it was Travis. Um, so I looked through the activity log uh, under your username. And it does appear that you were posting um, the same things over and over again in multiple channels. As well as posting invites to other servers that weren't approved and there was a little bit more going on there than was originally led on. So, can you scroll back up, uh, like, 10 or 12 photos back until you see mine? Hang on, one, wait, hold on. Hold up. Must have been talking to several people at the same time, and the server thing, I'm sorry, I didn't realize uh, that wasn't allowed. Kind of didn't read the rules. Oh, you're good. You, no worries, but that's why we tell people to read the rules. We try to use those rules to keep spam down, and I'm sure you guys can understand that. I mean, spam doesn't really help anybody and we do have a spam channel so if you want to just like you know smash your keyboard and just go constantly like there's we have a spam channel where you can do that so let's see i'm gonna go back through the discord through the truck meet by the way i'm seeing track master is a really realistic chevy build um Ram 10 with the dodge and the camper behind it looking really really good very nice outdoor outlander with the um, F-350 and Fox body combo. Yo, very nice. Let's see. My camping setup. Again, super legit. Also, um, wow. Holy smokes. Um, size more custom. That thing is probably max size of everything. Everything. Jeez. Jeez. 
let's see the prime map is working once again once again those those maps are they it, it, it's hard to make them work as a I, I the reason why i do a lot of like you know lobbies where it's just me in the lobby it, we're not me in the lobby, but like I go into a random lobby that has no code is because people, a lot of people don't realize that those um, code lobbies, they fill up so, so, so fast, so fast. And when they fill up that fast, you know, that's why the codes don't work sometimes because they're already full. Now, we need to do a little bit of an adjustment, I think, on... A couple of our rigs because we've got this thing which is like I mean dude that was a massive massive build to say the least but I almost wonder if we should well I wonder about oh oops didn't mean to do that didn't mean to do that oh what's up gauge um but no I didn't mean to like immediately go inside hold on let's see if we can wait a minute we need to make this thing more realistic. Like, uh, let's see. Noah, Natalie, Colton Blaze, EK47 Reborn. What's up, you guys? And look at my El Camino. Oh, don't worry. I'll be back in the Discord really, really soon. And I don't give, uh, uh, well, Mr. Beast that isn't Mr. Beast. I don't give that information out on stream, just so you know that. Um, wow, 103 cars. Indeed. Carter Crabtree, what's up? And how do you get in? I, I mean, literally, like, on the non-code lobbies, you just literally join, um, literally join, like, right as you can. So I'm going to make this thing a little bit more realistic because as it sits right now, it is um, not uh, 0.22 and oh, that's the offset. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to, bruh, why are you frozen? All right. Access offset. Bring it back in and let's see, 0.22. And then now we're going to make these tires a little bit more realistically sized. So radius is going to come down to like 1.2. I think that'll work. Yeah, nice like 1.2. That'll still go up most stuff. Now damping is going to be 3,200. Or well, about 3,200. Like roughly 3,200. Now... And let's see, I just created a server. I want to get it out there. Wait, so I thought your server was the best place. Um, wait, so as far as that goes, Travis, we don't actually do um, server, like other server promotions in my server because, again, that would create a lot of spam issues. But let's go ahead and do a quick little flex test on this thing just to get it, uh, let's see, just to get it all set to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, I mean... It's not, you know, going to be Jeep Flex, but it's definitely... Whoa! Look at that! That damping is incredible. Hold on. Gear tuning. 3-3-1-9. Three, three, oh, God. 3-2-2-0-1-4-1-5. Oh, one, one, and point eight. This should be a rip machine. And when I say a rip machine, I mean rip to anybody that tries to race it. Because holy moly, is it going to be freaking fast. So let's actually... Aha! Yes. Yes. Oh, dude. This thing is going to be so freaking fast. I... I am not, I wish, let's see, I wish they did the dead side like they do the cat eye uh, for the first gen dodge where it's available for purchase with the in-game money. Yeah. Do, whoa, what's up, Richard53? Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Thanks for dropping back in with us. We appreciate you stopping by. And let's see, as I'm watching the TZ stream, I'll also play GTA. Heck yeah, dude. Let's throw some slightly more uh, mud-friendly, well, actually, those are the most mud-friendly. Never mind. I, um... I went dummy mode. All right, we're gonna throw that in the um, in the trailer, and then we're gonna use our fully custom, literally like fully custom with like tons of decals, uh, fully custom Duramax to haul it out to a place that well, you guys may know and love, and there is definitely a spot for the camper. There's a spot for the truck, and a spot for the side-by-side -side yeet monster machine, of course. Let's see. 
Wait. So am I unbanned or not? I've learned my lesson. I mean, whether or not you've learned is up to you. I mean, but like, I that's we'll I we'll have to see. Oh wow, dude, the guy joined like immediately. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Now let's see. Uh, Mark says stop ignoring me. Uh, what were you? Uh, what was your question? Or what were you saying? Wait, there is camping. Yeah, we made a custom uh, TC camping trailer, and not only that, but the Offered Outlaws developers actually released on their official Facebook page that um. Uh, they, they released a, a message, or not a message, but a photo, Brain Go Kablooey, um, on their official Facebook page of a game that they are working on called American Marksman with all these new features that seem to be from the Offered Outlaws engine. So you got a new tent, you've got a campfire, you've got gorgeous visuals, new trees, uh, switchable weapons, and I think... I think that there's a chance that we could see elements of that game coming over to Offered Outlaws in the future, which I would love to see. Now, I'm going to actually post up my camper over here. I love all those people that are already, like, chilling out in here. Now, let's see. So, I'm going to post up my camper by one of these race garages where we're going to be camping out. Back it on in. Oh, God. They're trying to get multiple vehicles on a trailer. That always ends in explosions and doom. All right, she's good to go there. Detach, and let's see. So, let me park this guy right next to it. Trying to fit in my, like, my one, like, little garage spot. Yeah? I love how the dude is like, I'm going to immediately run... Oh! Bot band. Yep. Bot band. Bot band. Why are you constantly running into, like... Oh my god. This dude is like immediately is like, I'm gonna smash into everything. I'm like, right. Oi. I just got yoinked. I, oh, I forgot my dude had a chef's hat on. That is delightful. Oh, this thing is way faster than it has any. Wow. Holy moly. How do you have your blue stacks control set up? Just a very typical, like, WASD. Oh, really? Oh, man. Thanks, Off-Road Outlaws. Oh, um, TDM, let's keep that out of the chat. We don't allow any, you know, political discussion in the chat. It does not contribute to a chill or relaxed environment for anybody. So let's just keep that on there out of the chat, and uh, we can all be chill. Let's see. Just go back on. What map is that? That's TC's Quick Race. That place is a blast. Mm. Coffee. Always loving the coffee. Now, let's jump right back into a completely open session right there on TC's Quick Race. Because I need to rip that side-by-side -side down the course with its new gearing and its proper tires. Like, oh, it's going to be gnarly, dude. Absolutely gnarly. I also really wanted to show you my builds, uh, or at least for the 20 decal limit anyways. Yeah, that decal limit can be a little, uh, can be a little bit of an oof. I, I feel you on that one, dude. I feel you on that one 100%. Griffin J, what's up, dude? Um, yo, yo, Natalie, that's gonna be a timeout. Once again, like I said before, one of our chat policies is we keep anything that's political out of the chat because it does not contribute to a relaxed or chill environment for anybody. It's like... We want this place to be a chill environment where we can all hang out and talk trucks and off-road outlaws and off-roading and bot, 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 bot is gone. Yep. Bot banned. Got him. Also, TDM, if you keep posting that, you will be timed out because, again, that is, that is just outside of the rules of the chat. Like, straight up. There is no politics in the chat. It doesn't contribute to a chill environment. It doesn't contribute to, like, just everybody being able to have a good time. So, literally, like, for the sake of the whole chat, let's keep it out of the chat, and let's keep everything super chill. Bot ban. Always, like, always with the bot ban. All right, before the game crashes, I need to make a pass. Let's see. Test pass in three, two, one. You yeet. Okay, yeah, it's fast. Bro, that damping tune is exactly what I needed it to be. Why is this thing so quiet? I feel like it's a whole heck of a lot quieter than it should be. Bruh. 
Yep, go, 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 go. I don't think they're going to catch me. I really... Oh, my God. Well, doinked. Um, that went well. Ooh, I'm in a... I'm in a spot. I love how Venom was like, I'm getting, like, all the way back down, and I'm running you over. DC, is your sound down? I mean... Now, you could hear my sound completely fine in the other, uh, in the, in the other trucks. So, I think it's this thing. Like, you could hear it a tiny bit, but, man, they made it way quieter. Yoink! Oh, my God! Uh, okay. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh, my God. 10 out of 10. I, that was beautiful. I don't think I could... TDM, bro, you're getting timed out. Keep that out of the chat, dude. Um, and it's not because of literally, like, it's not because of who you're talking about. It's literally, you could be talking about anything in a political context, and I would remove it from the chat. Because, again, that is not what this chat is for. That is not what this environment is for. And, again, if you if you come back from your time out and you keep doing it, you will be banned. All right, so let's see. That's awesome, Thomas Brown. And also, someone out there in the chat said... Um, was it Mark? Yeah, stop ignoring me. How do you agree to the rules? There should be um, there should be a walkthrough once you join the ch uh, the Discord server. There should be a walkthrough on how you can agree to the rules and then of course how you can chat. Okay. Now let's see. Golden plays. What's up, dude? All right, I'm about to uh, throw this thing back in the trailer real quick, back in the camper, and dare I run the good old um, what the? Oh my God. Bro, I love how this guy is like, I'm just going to continuously smash into your truck. And, uh, boing. Finally. That is the, like, the only bird I've actually been able to, like, to shoot down and actually pick up um, this entire stream. A grand. Wow, there's another one? How is TC's Quick Race the place that's got the most ducks? How, I have literally gotten you multiple times, duck. Uh, finally. Is it on the racetrack? It is. That's annoying. Well, okay. I mean, I'm not that worried about it. So, yo. All right. All right. Hold on. Yo, Jeff. Jeff, come on. That is literally, that is literally, we are keeping that out of the chat. Come on. You're getting timed out for that one, dude. We're, you're absolutely getting timed out for that one. Keep the, literally, keep the political stuff out of the chat. 100%. If it shows up again, it will result in a ban. Jeff is TDM. Yeah, it, it seems that way. All right, Sophie Squad, what's up, dude? Welcome back. All right, we're going to run the show build down the uh, down the track. Let's see who wants to get on over here and race. I don't think this thing's going to be very fast. I'm going to go ahead and let you all know that right now. Is he legitimately going to take his truck and his camper down the race course? What the heck? Jeff is a bad, bad, bad boy, <laughs> right? B-O-I, boy, sips coffee, boy. <laughs> can we get the razor tune? Mine is slow. Yeah, I uh, showed it a little bit earlier, but I can also show it again for y'all. Now, let's see. Yo, this thing is sick. I'm loving that cat eye dually with the TC Customs on the side. Amazing job on that thing, Venom. That thing looks proper legit. Let's see. Speaking of bad CC, what about me? Let's see, I've learned the lesson, it never happens again. Let's see, all right, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, Travis, I'll talk to my moderators about it, all right? I will absolutely talk to my moderators about it. Let's see, Jeff, stop. Oh, don't worry, I already timed Jeff out. Yep, I already timed Jeff out. Um, it, but if he comes back and he does the same thing again, is there a diesel addict out there in the chat? Oh, boy. All right, hang on. Y'all ready? Good old Duramax show rig, about to make a run down the, down the track. All right, three... Two, one, send it! Come on! Oh, this gearing is not good. Oh, that's where that bird is. LOL. This thing is not set up for this. This is not set up for this. This is not set up for this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know why that made me think of my favorite moment from, like, my favorite, like, literally one of my favorite YTPs where it's a Doug DeMiro YTP and it's like, and then we press the button again and then we press the button again and then we press the button again and then we, and like, that is literally me anytime I get in a car that's got a lot of buttons and people are like, 
oh, what do you do with it once you get in? I'm like, well, you press the button again, and then you press the button again, and then you press the button again, and then you... <laughs> Literally my brain in any car with pop-up headlights, I just keep hitting the button and making the headlights go up and down. We press the button again, then we press the button again. I'm like, literally. Come on, and... Oh, can we make it with the truck? Oh, no. Bonk. Yeah, we got bonked. We got oofed. It gave us the bonk, but Venom, that was a great race. That was a great race. I gotta fix some of these, like, little light bars that are on the front, but... Nah, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's gonna be literally A-OK. -okay. Even that thing is fast. Dude, like... It's quick. It is freaking quick. Alright, now, I think we're gonna do a little bit of a rotation real quick. We're gonna head on back to the Yad. Can you show me real quick on Discord, TC, please? So, here's the thing. Uh, Mark, when you join the server, there should be a, um, there should be a way for you to literally be able to like, okay, like join in and then there is a mod lurking. Um, but Diesel, you can correct me if I'm wrong actually on this, but I believe that once you join the server, it will direct you to a channel where you can agree to the rules. Um, and then once you do that, then you can... Uh, then you can post and comment because I believe Mark is saying that he is um, having a lot of trouble because he doesn't know um, how to agree to the rules. But I believe it should be fairly straightforward um, to do. So Mr. Gamer says, okay, I won't ask. Wait, uh, you won't ask what? What? Chase Hobbies, what's up, dude? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Make a private one. Michelle Perez, we, who, those... The private ones, man, like, at least with the public ones, people are able to get in and out, like, fairly simply, but, dude, like, with the, with the freaking, um, with the freaking, like, private ones, people get, like, mad, dude. Now, hang on one second. I have an idea. Let's see. Um, I have an idea, and I'm very back and forth on... I think I know what I'm going to do. Remember how you guys asked me to... Remember how you guys asked me earlier if I could build a Off-Road Outlaws version of the um, of the Seaboys TV SEMA truck? I think I'm going to take a shot at it because I think I can actually build it pretty dang easily. Um, it leaves you in the welcome channel. Then you have to switch to channels on your own. Well, but that's like... But you have to go to the rules channel and then literally just agree to the rules. I believe that's that's how that works. Um, oh, crap. Well, it's still going to give us the dual fenders, but I think we can... Yeah, I think we can, like, we could work with that. We could sort that out. So, easy to sort out at first. Maybe not quite as easy to sort out uh, throughout the rest of it. But full build, going down, full build straight up. And then all that can get done. And then we'll make sure, obviously, to make it diesel. And then once we get all that done, there we go. We've got the diesel swap completed. And then we can finish the durability upgrades. So we've got the e-brake. We've got the full turbo setup. Like, literally, maximum, maximum stage turbo. Um, oh, God. Jeff is like, help. I'm like, bruh, you, you, you know what we told you. You know exactly what we told you. I like the SEMA trucks. Heck yeah, dude. Now, let me go back into the customization uh, real quick. Kaden Richardson, what's up? Mm. Did you see my message? Um, I'll need to go back and check. I'll be in and out uh, for the next little bit. Connection isn't great at the moment. I gotcha, I gotcha. Bruh, man, Jeff, I told you we literally, we don't allow any political discussion in this chat. It's not about like one person or another. It's not because, well, I like this person, but I don't like this person or this, that, and the other. We just have a no, um, like literally straight up, we have a no politics discussion policy in the chat. And that is why you are now banned. You, uh, Jeff has been ban bonked. The ban hammer has been dropped on Jeff. And you know what? I mean, it was... It was gonna happen, you know? I it, it was gonna happen. There's no way it wasn't gonna happen at this point. And I think that there's 
It's like, what, uh, ATV Rider, why ban him? Because we told him no politics in the chat, and he just kept posting politics in the chat over and over and over and over again. And I was like, if you don't stop, you know what's gonna happen. And he was like, over and over and over and over and over. And I'm like, okay, all right, that's, that's, yeah, that that's, nope. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to this build real quick. Now, this is going to be a Solid Axle Pro setup, front and rear. So we'll do Solid Axle Pro up front, and I might, I don't know. I don't know if it needs Solid Axle Pro Heavy Duty, because it is a SEMA truck. It's not like, you know, it's not a monster truck. It's nothing super crazy, but it's just, you know, uh, red wheels. Oh, don't worry. We got, I'm literally looking at a picture of... Uh, of the Seaboys TV um, SEMA truck right now. So, trust me, I am, like, we're, we're looking at it. So, let's see. Um, I'm back and forth on a couple of elements of it, but it's mostly just a fully blacked out, like, F-350 that is very, very lifted. You know what I mean? I don't want to be political, but raw potatoes taste good. Oh, God! Bruh! Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm like, dude boy all right get the gearing done and handled upgraded all the way uh stage five here's the thing so it's gonna need a mega lift and it's gonna need max size like on the actual wheels because with it being a SEMA truck it's kind of gonna need that um and with it being you know especially you know the Seaboys TV truck that thing has, like, almost no sidewall at all. So, if you're talking about a truck that has, like, no sidewall at all, then you kind of have to replicate it here in Alfred Outlaws. So, travel's going up all the way as well. We're not going to use this to tow anything, I don't think, because it's a little bit, like, obviously, you know, that's not what these, these mega-lifted SEMA trucks are designed for. So, now I have to unduly it I don't know what I just heard I legitimately don't know what I just heard I thought I heard something and I don't know what it was that was very weird let's see I was on the road for like six hours a day I gotta go for like 10 minutes because I I just got home dude now you're good Mr. Gamer yeah all good to go mm. all right so let's get the tires non-dually in the back and here's the thing it's gonna look a little awkward, but I think the way we're gonna fix that is we're gonna do it with the cut fenders. I know that that's a little weird, but it's we can use it to get kind of away from the dually fenders in the back. Now, are there any bumpers that look somewhat like the Seaboys TV truck? I, well, that one looks kind of like their truck, but not exactly. I mean, like, that's about as close as we're going to get, I feel. But their truck has, like, some red inlays that I might be able to replicate on the stock bumper with the designer. So that I might leave. Now, do they have a... They do not... No, they have cab lights. Okay. Then actually, well, this truck already has cab lights. So that's taken care of. And then we'll do the white HIDs. And we'll definitely do the repair pack in the bed. And it's already got the tow mirrors, so that's sorted. So, back in on the customization now. I want a tire that's got, like, airbags or something to, like, an any-level lift. Oh, I'd love that. I'd freaking love that. What's up, Michael and uh, Candace Leisure? I see you out there in the chat. Now, let's find a tire that works for this kind of setup. So, the tire that actually, you know what? This tire actually resembles the ones on their real truck really, really well. So we'll be using that one. And then once we get that all set up, obviously we're not done just yet because we need to do, well, how bright is the, oh God, yeah. If we want it to be super bright, metallic red. Now the Archon wheels that they have, I don't know, I don't know what wheels in this game actually look like those Archons? I mean, these kind of do, especially if we do a... I mean, that looks kind of close. That actually does look kind of close. And 
You know, I mean, we might have to end up going with that. Now, let me just check a couple of different wheels first and see if there's anything that looks more similar. Actually, well, those look similar-ish to the Archons, but I think if we're talking about that same style, then it might be... Uh, might be more like these. We do have to widen the truck, though. So, once we widen, like... Once we widen the stance, and then we widen the, like, the wheels themselves, make CJ's boat... Oh, God! Bruh! Like, legit, I am... Oh, what's up? Echo, I see you out there in the chat. Uh, alright. We'll see what you get back. Uh, let's see. What was your name? Oh, hold on. Oh, Mr. Gamer? Yeah, we'll see what you get back, buddy. No worries. Alright, radius... Maybe like a 1.1, but these are mainly like wide than anything else. So, like 1.1 one, one and 1.3. One, so, 1.1 one, one and 1.3. One, and the wheel size is already max. So, now we got to sort out the offset. And that thing is wide, but it's not, it's not so wide that it's impossible. So... Let's see. Oh, no worries, dude. And Jacks for Life. Welcome back, buddy. Now, let's see. Point three. Now, it's starting to look like their truck a little bit. I'm liking where this is going. Yeah, I'm actually really liking where this is going, actually. Okay, so shock size. We'll do like 1.7. I, I can, I can, you know, I, I can support that. 1.7 is a good shock size for it. Now, damping, because I want it to drive decent, we'll do 3,200, and that'll be, that'll be kind of our, like, holding point, and brake type, axle type, not gonna worry too much about that, and then, now that I look at it, yeah, I'm looking at the picture of it again, okay, yeah, no, I'm glad we went with the standard Solid Axle Pro, because, uh, Solid Axle Pro Heavy Duty, uh, would look a little bit weird with this, um, god, it needs to be wider, it needs to be wider. 0.05. Yeah, it needs to be wider for it to look like the real one. And if we're trying to make it look like the real one, that's that's what we're going to have to do. All right. Well, it's now wider. And I just, I need to do a couple of things with the... See, the links look too small. Man, oh, what's up, Rosara7? And sorry, I gotta leave. Love the streams, though. Thanks so much for hanging out while you could. And Jessica Smith, thanks for stopping by. Uh, yo, check Discord. Oh, don't worry. We'll be jumping back into the Discord really, really soon. Um, I just gotta figure out a, a couple of things with the... I just... Bro, I don't like how, um, how small those axles are. They just look wrong. They just legit look wrong. I don't know. Is it... Like, does, does it seem like that to you guys, too? The axles just look too small. I'll paint them and see how they look first, but it, they seem, uh, it's, so is it like, what, blacked out with some red accents? Yeah, I can do that. All right, primary blacked out with some red accents. Hold on. So, primary is going to be the actual axle tubes themselves. And then red accents everywhere else. I mean, it looks okay, but I don't know, dude. Like, something's missing. Something's really, truly missing. Maybe we could make the wheels even what? Oh, God. You want to talk about a freaking steamroller stance now? Bird 23, what's up? No, this is like... I mean, at the very least it fills out the ones in the rear a little bit more. And I mean, if that's what we're trying to do, then that's what we're trying to do. Now, I'm going to try to do the red accents on the front bumper. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Uh, that's a big maybe right now. Um, so let's see. Jake Wood. All right, no worries, dude. Thank you so much for hanging out. We genuinely appreciate you. All right, so let's do those red bumper accents now. Make a world record fast side by side. I don't know if I can make a world record fast one. That's pretty freaking quick. Hmm. So let me see. Um, I'm going to try to sort of emulate the idea that they had going on on theirs. And I wonder, 
Those are quite some size tires. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's see. So, I'm thinking that... Okay, so it's like a couple of triangles in the bumper and then like kind of like a weird... Okay, so it's a light bar and then a little bit of red accenting. Yo, Candy with the five uh, SAR Super Chat. Thank you so much. Tire widths, but still... Uh, yeah, absolutely. So let me see. I think that the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to sort out that little... Uh, light bar situation oh god okay so let's see that's gonna be like right there and i'll use that to create the basis for the light bar we'll make it like a dark gray and then i'm gonna duplicate you and then i'm gonna make it we're gonna go into like a really light like yellow e color like really light yellowy gold and then put a light bar in the bumper that way okay i don't know if you're gonna keep like i don't know if it's gonna fight with me on this but we're about to find out all right so oh this is so hard to do this is so hard to do, dude. Oh my god, it's so hard to do. What's up, Gwen? Welcome back. And also, let's see. Let me check into the Discord real quick. So let's see. DX Joe, loving that third gen thing looks sick. Also, I'm really digging that um, El Camino with the camper setup. That's definitely a different take on the camper. I love it. Trackmaster, I'm digging that realistic cat eye build along with a... Uh, ooh... Uh, let's see, join us, or, uh, join us, I, I'm not even sure how you pronounce your name, but the realistic second gen, pulling trucks with that good old, uh, realistic Chevy build, um, let's see, oh, Mr. T with the Bronco, some flames on that one, Clark with the very nice color coordinated setup on the, uh, the F350, that looks so good, uh, let's see, Lolly D, what's up, uh, please respond to me, TC, what was your, uh, what was your question? So let me actually get this just a little bit more aligned and then all right so that's good there and then i'm gonna duplicate it and then i'm gonna duplicate it oh this worked so much better bro this worked so much better than trying to do it the other way oh wow yes come on all right thank you bring it back in and there's our bumper light bar. Let's go. That is the bumper light bar done. All right, so I'm happy with that. Bumper light bar is good. And now, just a little bit of like a bottom piece, just to kind of help with the um, with the little red accent theme, because they did have a red kind of bumper piece near the bottom of the bumper. Now, let me get... That. Whoa. Why is it freaking out? That's strange. It's like it doesn't want to be down there. I don't know why it wouldn't want to be down there. It's like it freaks out if I get close to the bottom with it. There you go. Bring it down real quick. Oh. Did I hit some sort of invisible limiter? No. I got it. I got it. I got it. I did not hit an invisible limiter. Uh, let's see. Oh, what's up, Mr. Gamer? Welcome back. And uh, let's see. Brent King, I see you saying hi out there in the chat. All right, so we get that done. And then just a little bit more. And I promise this is not going to be a stripe. Um, this is going to be something just a hair different. Let's do... Actually, this will work. Oh, yo, this will work. Um, let me spin it around. But yeah, that'll work. Oh. <gasps> Oh, dude. This is actually what... It's basically a recreation of their real aftermarket bumper. Because it actually does, like, have these little, you know, curved, um, kind of like... I don't, even, I don't even know what you would call them. Like, just highlighted angles on it. But we basically remade their truck. It's not perfect. You know, obviously, there's, like, a couple of details that you would have to spend a lot of dedicated time on. But... Let's see, mirror it, TC. Oh, I should have done that, shouldn't I? But actually, the funny thing is, this side came out better than this side. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit low, but... Oh, wow, that's actually, like, dangerously low. Um, but here's what we're gonna do. 
this truck I'll probably go ahead and load in the trailer and we'll bring it out to one of the maps and also let's see well made that uh yeah well just don't compare one side to the other um picture of vehicle that you have in IRL. Um, well, if you want to see pictures of my IRL vehicles, um, make sure you head over to my Instagram page. There is a bunch of that over there. So now we're going to load the Seaboys TV truck into the trailer with its like custom bumper, the custom, uh, like the light bar, all that good stuff all loaded up. I'm going to wash and repair the side by side. Cause man, does it need it after we did with it or after we did what we did with it. Now, I'm going to add in a multiplayer free roam custom maps, and we're jumping into Twin Rivers Lake for a literal random lobby, random lobby meetup session. This is going to be a, this is going to be a time. Do you like fishing at all? I am absolutely horrible at it. I am, I, now granted, I know that that could be made better with practice. I am, uh, I am well aware of that, trust me, but don't worry, that will be something that we, I don't know, I mean... If it's something that I get into at some point, I'll definitely let you guys know. Mm. What's your Insta? It literally linked in the uh, description of the stream. Yep, like in the description of the live video, I guess you would call it. Yeah, it's linked down there. It is all good to go. What's your most realistic truck? Um, I had a really realistic Tundra uh, 1794 edition for a while, and then I kind of like redid it a little bit, put like lift kit on it, but it's still pretty realistic, I would think. Um, I haven't, uh, uh, Colton plays, um, I haven't actually like hunted in many, many, many years. I have before, um, but it was just a long time ago. What is the deal here? What's going on? I'm gonna, oh, the game crashed on load up. Bro, that's such an oof. Oh man, I was trying to load into a session and the game was like, a uh, see ya. Mm. Like, I know that the game will do that sometimes, but yike. That is such a big old freaking yike, though, bud. Like, man. Absolute big old freaking yike, dude. Um, One more try there with that, then. Random lobby right there out on Twin Rivers Lake. Get all loaded up. Free roam, custom maps, role play, and where's Twin Rivers? Come on. There's Twin Rivers Lake. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Yeah, indeed, Mr. Gamer, you bet. You freaking bet. Certified Blue Stacks moment. Oh, you better believe. Not only is it a certified Blue Stacks moment, it is. It's not just certified. It's certified. <laughs> oh man. You bet. Mm -hmm. What's my dream truck? IRL. Um, I have so many like dream trucks that I think would be so cool to own. Like, I would love like a real trophy truck. But here's the thing. I would need a, uh, I would need a trophy truck track to use said trophy truck on. <laughs> I think it'd be so cool to have one, though. Um, oh, you got it in the server? Very nice, Mark. That's awesome. That is freaking legit. All right. So we are out here on Twin Rivers Lake right now. Got the TC camper. Well, the TC Customs camper that says TC camping on the side. Got the custom uh, GMC build with the grill and bumper mounted light bars. All the custom work. All done and going to go. Banna Plays, what's up? Let's see. Um, Brent King, welcome back. Colton Plays, see you saying hi out there in the chat. Am I allowed to invite TC to a lobby? Well, you can try to get into this lobby. Now, I will say, um, ha, no time to explain. It says, hello there. He beat me to it. Why? What? Hold on. Hello there. General Kenobi, <laughs> always. Rowdy, what's up? So the camper is also a TC Customs thing? Yeah, so essentially it's like the camping division of TC Customs because it is, of course, TC Camping. And then it has the TC logo right there on the back of the camper. Always ready for an adventure and good to go. Oh, dude, I love this truck. I love how it came out. I think the purple actually suits it really, really nice. That a Chevy? That's actually, well, as you can see on the front, GMC uh, with a custom chrome grill that's also got light bars mounted in the grill and another light bar mounted down there in the bumper. Really, really like how it came out. I really do. Yo! Freaking no time uh, to explain with the diesel power trailer. Oh, man, I'm loving that setup. What's he got in there? Oh, wait, it spawned out up here. Oh, it's a power wagon. Dude, I love these. 
his tires are freaking steamroller status, though. I need all these garage doors in my life. Like, this needs to be a thing. Yo, that's, like, so good. That is so freaking nice. Oh, man. Mad props, though, dude. Like, your setup is, like, freaking great. I like the camper. Thank you, Toxic Taco. I appreciate it. All right. Let's see. Can you please build a drag quad with the longer swing at the rear, please? I haven't built one of those in a long time, and I'm not, like... I don't have a lot of confidence on remembering the exact tuning strategy for those, but, um, let's see. Oh my god, I'm literally in your lobby. I love it. I love it. Oh, dude. Hey, that's freaking amazing, Rylan. Oh, hold on. There, I spelled amazing wrong. Why me do 2000? Dig in the second gen? Oh, oh god, I'm in the second gen. Or on, rather. Oh, God. Yep, hat and swim trunks. Uh, the hat and swim trunks is apparently the move. Hold on. Let me move this guy real quick. That way, um, these guys have a little bit more space to park. Oh, the music. Oh, what's up, dude? And Tyson Miller. Um, it is a, it is a no-code open lobby, so it's just, like, literally a public lobby. Um, and it does rotate people from time to time, I think. Um, love that bulldozer, how they made it out of, like, a tractor. That's so cool, how they did, like, custom objects with it. Um, uh, thank you so much, Rowdy Main. I really appreciate you, buddy. Oh, I know where we are. Honestly, Jackson Doyle, I like them both for different reasons. I mean, I feel like, I feel like the Cummins trucks are definitely simpler to build. There's a lot more complication with the Duramax engines, but, I mean, I don't know. They both have their ups and downs, for sure. And, hold on, and, full break. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That was like full foot brake and hand brake all at the same time. Like, sheesh, bro. Let me make my way up to the house right here. That way we've got a little bit of a backyard situation at the very least. Uh, what map are we on? We are on the map called, oh, what is it called? Uh, 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 Twin Rivers Lake. Yep, that's it. All right, let's back you up over here. Or actually, oh, can I put the, uh, I was the swimming trunks. Oh my god, well, at least you got in for a bit. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you at least got to, uh, get in the session for a little bit. Alright, let's back it up. Oh boy. Oh god. And good to go. Oh, I love how it fits right there in the barn. Dude, hell boy, what's going on? I see you out there in the chat. All right, let me get a quick couple of photos with this. So, Open Squad, all right, dude, thank you so much for hanging out while you could, by the way. We genuinely appreciate you. Also, y'all are knocking on that, uh, knocking on the door of 400 likes out there on the stream. Thank you so much. Man, I need to get a photo of this. This whole setup looks amazing. Let me get the truck positioned right. Or positioned-ish, I should say. All right. Yo, this is like absolutely what I'm talking about, though. This is so what I'm talking about. Look at that. Man, you got your camper. You got the freaking GMC. Oh, it all looks... It's just right, dude. Like, it's so right. Oh, man. We're making a video about the update. Well, we've used uh, this stream to talk a lot about the announcement of uh, American Marksman by the Offered Outlaws developers, and that was a big deal. Like, there's so many features of that that could potentially make their way to Offered Outlaws. Also, Offered Outlaws, PJ, thank you so much for that $1 super chat. We genuinely appreciate you, bud. But no, so as far as Amer uh, American Marksman goes, this is what we're going to be looking at in terms of, like, a user interface, and hopefully, if, um, if all goes well according to our own and my own hopes... I am really hoping that we see aspects of this game, like the campfire, the, the little tent, and like, you know, the switchable weaponry, and maybe the hunting and stuff like that, maybe in Offered Outlaws a little bit later on down the road. I think that'd be so cool. Oh, I love how he brought the Seaboys TV truck, <laughs> and the Ryland, that's so good. That's sick. I love it. I love how he literally rebuilt it. It's so good. I love how, like, No Time to Explain is like, I'm taking your spot on the lift. Why are you thumbs down? What, why are you thumbs down, you mad? Oh, what? He thumbs down and then the lobby crashed. Big old yikerinos, bud.
my absolute yikes. Wow. That's like, that is a huge, huge yikes. But it, it was hilariously timed, though, with the freaking, like, thumbs down. And it was like, well, bam, and then crashed. But, mm, before, because we're getting uh, really close to the end of the stream, though. But before we wrap up, though, I'm going to go back through the uh, the Discord channel real quick. Digging that um, that first gen. It's like kind of a bluish gray with yellow wheels. It's very interesting. Also, uh, GSXR speed with the trailer and actually a couple ATVs. Very, very nice. Digging that Baja bug as well, Mr. T. And Jackson, interesting build there on the Nova. And Mr. Nut, oh, what's up? The OBS Chevy and the camper. That is beautiful, dude. So beautiful. And Reaper, I dig that, like, slammed out C10. Now, let's see. Oh, dude, SW Customs, proper, like, sheesh on those realistic setups. They're looking sick. Oh, no. Oh, wow. All right. Bot, 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 bot. Hold on. Oh, geez. All right. Ban. And then, hold on. Got the first one, and then, hold on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Was there another one? Um, No, we got him. We got him. Let's see. Bot band. Yup, we got him. We got him. Thank you guys so much, by the way, for helping us get those bots. I, we can always rely on you guys to be like, yo, time for the bot ban again. But with that all being said, thank you all so, so, so much for joining us today out here on the stream. I hope you guys had as much fun watching as I had hanging out with you guys and streaming with you guys. And also, hope you enjoyed everything we talked about in relation to that upcoming game that could be related to Offered Outlaws as well. And with all that being said and done, guys, I hope you had a, again, a wonderful time on the stream and make sure you jump back onto the channel at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when our new video goes live and I will see you guys in the comment section of that video but once again massive thanks to each and every one of y'all whether you were watching chatting super chatting or moderating and I see y'all next time talk to y'all later